Hello everyone. Oh, let me make sure the game audio is on again. I'm going by desktop audio tonight, so this time if somebody sends a super chat, it won't be silent. Because we missed something really funny last time. Because the, the super chat uh, text-to-speech was just like reading out the emoji, so it was just going crocodile, 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 crocodile over and over again. <laughs> hey everybody, it's going pretty good. I turned off the um, the stickers and the the viewer attack for tonight because uh, I just thought it would it would be too disruptive on the vod. Uh, so uh, last time, I I thought uninstalling the ex the extensions would do it, but you guys could still claim shit. So I just turned off every single sticker <laughs> for now. <laughs> They'll be back. Yeah, you can throw tomatoes in the in the chat, though. They'll be back next week for the art stream. You guys can just slap whatever fuck you want on screen then. I don't care when it's the art stream. But for game streams, we'll probably not do that shit. But I am going to add a few more stickers. I, I failed you, YouTube chat, though. I wanted to um, I wanted to give you emotes. I wanted to give you, like, I want to hug that gator-related emotes. But apparently, you can only do custom emotes on a YouTube channel under memberships. So, fuck. So... I will probably just open memberships next week for anybody who wants that. Just make it like 99 cents. I'll I'll give you I'll give you special emotes uh, badges and I'll give you uh, the Patreon goodie bag. I have a little goodie bag on my Patreon that's just full of like desktop wallpapers and avatars and uh, and uh, digital stickers and uh, well tablet and and iPad wallpapers too. This is all Switcheroo AU stuff. It's like a bunch of my art, but I've you know done my graphic design work to it and made it into uh, shit you can use. So you're eating fistfuls of rice. You're just eating rice with your hands. That's interesting. <sighs> I'm working on another horror novel. A conjoined twin brothers with a curse of unpredictable hu hunger. Ooh. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's get back into the game. I have to be ready to do my silly voices. You're just eating raw rice with your hands. <laughs> Actually, hang on. I'm going to move YouTube chat up on my screen. I'm trying to balance OBS in the two chats on my drawing tablet while I have the game in my main stream, so bear with me. <laughs> I literally have you all on my drawing tablet right now. I hope you're excited. Alright, that's right. I made sure to save it in the first slot last time. Yes, load it. There we go. Right, so last time uh, we, 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 had a, we had a heart to heart with Olivia on the bridge in the rain. Um, I was saying loser baby a little bit of in as Inko. I kind of want to make that into a little animated short. I'll have to work on that sometime. <laughs> so I think that would be pretty funny. And I should probably contribute something fan art wise to the I Wanna Hug That Gator community, since they are now so beloved on my uh, channel. <laughs> so when I get a moment, I'll probably do a little loser baby with Inko and, uh, and Olivia, because that would be pretty fucking funny. <laughs> and uh, and then we came back to school, and we went to Idekin's class. Inko just noticed there's a dark room. And also, we got, we got chased by uh, bitch tits. What's her name? Mia. Uh... <laughs> Who I think wants to kill us now, but then chat also made sure that I, I made all the right choices to get the best ending, or so they told me. So, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll see. But yes, you guys are on my Huey on uh, Canvas uh, 13 right now. Alright, here we go. Taking my own seat, I focus on Idakin. I think my Inco voice is a little off right now. I usually don't have Mark Flat. That's right, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I'm not a voice actor, by the way. I can just make my voice do weird things. <laughs> as much as I could, at least, my muddled thoughts kept me distracted the whole period. Just before the bell rings, Idekin stares me dead in the eye. He points a stern finger directly at me, then the floor to signal you, stay. Then I lay down on the floor like a doggy. <laughs> You'll steer me right, keep talking. Well, you're like, you're like, you were, you were just like making it rain on me last night, so I'm gonna have to trust you. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Uh, you don't know the gator, but you know Snoot? I, I've heard of Snoot. I heard about how these two games came to be. This is basically the sequel to Snoot game, but I have, 
I have genuinely enjoyed this. Uh, Waddle the Walrus. This game is about a human man who is going to Dinosaur High School, and he falls in love with a grumpy gator girl, and we are trying to woo her. And it's a visual novel, so I've been reading it out loud in funny voices, and I just thought I was just gonna do a one first impression stream, but the game ended up being actually really cute and funny, and we were having a great time with it, so I've just been streaming it every Thursday. Uh, and I wanted to get back into game streaming this year anyway, so... What the hell? Next, uh, we'll probably take a break after we're done with this game. And then I'll pick- I'll pull you guys on another game you want me to play, and then we'll pick a day in time and then do it then. Or maybe even two days, I don't know. I want to play a lot of video games, I don't have a lot of time, so if I can play video games with you guys... <laughs> it gives me content! <coughs> he is a mannequin man, his name is Inko Genito. And he is a faceless man with sunglasses, and I- and I- and this is the voice I gave him! So, yes. <laughs> Have fun with that. Once everyone else has left, he closes the class door and locks it. Oh, I think I'm in trouble. And I should I should not use the mouse. We know I have problems with the mouse. I should use the keyboard for this. Okay. So, can I to explain? Explain, sir? He opens the door at the back and signals Olivia to come on out. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's like a father with a shotgun aimed straight for my head. Nah, I'm probably not gonna do Snoot Game. I heard it's hard. <laughs> we'll just do this. I don't usually play visual novels at all. That's why I like to play this with an audience. <laughs> I would never finish this on my own. <laughs> Kaiser, you should be happy you don't have to get up at 5 a.m. to come watch anymore. At least for this. <laughs> I did initially want to make sure you could make the streams because you got me the game. <laughs> The mud, the drenched clothes, the decoration of sanctuary. Dot, dot, dot. Is that a Hunchback of Notre Dame reference, sir? I was having a bad day. She's looking a bit better. Still drained, but she's not shivering. Her rat sits on her lap, and Ida can extend a finger down to scratch under its chin. Aw. I can see that. He takes a seat against the nearby desk and waves a hand at Olivia to go on. When she does it, he shifts his hand to me. I look between the two of them. I am very confused. Mr. Eidekin's expected to leer. And Olivia's pleading eyes. <laughs> look at her going a woo at him. I ultimately shake my head in the negative. I just helped Olivia get out of the rain. I didn't do anything to her, sir. I didn't touch her, I swear. I did not... I did not hug that gator, sir. <laughs> of course. He slouches further atop the desk. Can I tell you some other time? Sure. I don't give a fuck about anything. I am so drunk right now. Whatever it was, it looks like you've recovered pretty well. Uh, Idakin, and for the new people, is a teacher uh, who is very close to Olivia here, who is a troubled girl. Uh, so he's kind of like, he's kind of like her Mr. Carter or whatever, you know? <laughs> Olivia doesn't answer verbally. Instead, giving him a bashful smile and nod, I just said Mr. Carter. I keep making references you fucking Zoomers aren't gonna fucking understand. <laughs> The difference between Gator and Snoot is Gator is is two cuties who can't talk normal and Snoot is two abominations. Yeah. I heard the Snoot people are like assholes. I like I like my very autistic Inko and very autistic Olivia. We were joking that they're like on opposite sides of the spectrum, but it's kinda true. <laughs> Everything in this game has been off. I said I picked the right voice for Inko at the beginning. I, I have been like just on it picking voices for the characters. <laughs> I'm doing this blind. <laughs> Was it about your work again? Yeah. Oh, this girl. He turns to me and points a thumb at her. You know, the work she's so concerned about absolutely wrecks the grading curve in my class. Why do you grade on a curve in an art class? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, my hugs are purely platonic, sir. <laughs> For the sake of the other students, I had to put a limit on extra credit assignments. Really? Yeah. Never before would I even consider such a restraint. Why punish someone for working too hard? I would think to myself. Then four years ago, this little green goblin comes rolling into my class. Half a semester and more than a few angry calls from parents later, my hands were tied. <laughs> Why are you grading on a curve in an art class? Hang on. Hang on. Kaiser has fan art to show us. We have to stop everything. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get this on screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Kaiser. 
<laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on, I have to show all of you this. Uh, okay, okay. We just, I'm just gonna post Twitter in, in there. So we can all look at this. I, I had made a joke that, that Ben is the one who crippled, uh, Olivia, um, fucking Nancy Kerrigan style, and I said no one would understand that reference. Apparently Kaiser did, <laughs> or looked it up. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. I'm actually, I'm gonna favorite that right now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was our fan art se segment, everybody. <laughs> Oh, the number of times I have said something stupid on the internet and someone has gone and drawn it, I swear. <laughs> anyway. Olivia's drawn like a Tuka and Birdie character? Yeah, actually, now that you mention it. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> anyway. Young lady simply does too dang much. Olivia smiles, but doesn't look up from her pet. It was, wait, it was much better than all the other students, or that much better? Uh-oh. Haverlock sent a $5 <laughs> super chat. $5 from Haverlock. Somebody go get the fake screenshot from Hunt Down the Freeman. <laughs> ah, see, today we can hear the super chat voice, finally, and you can hear the little pee and whistle. That is another Nights into Dreams sound effect, because I am very predictable. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I don't grade by technique. If I did, you'd be in big trouble, Inko. Then why do you grade on a curve by? What is your parameters here, sir? Olivia's work was very good even then, but the main thing I admire is how motivated she can be. I'm just making him more and more campy. <laughs> I haven't seen someone so enthused to just paint in years. Certainly haven't seen anyone so enthused I had to change the rules just like that. I don't understand what your rules even were. <laughs> You were worried it'd stop me. Was I? That definitely sounds like me. I don't remember, because I day drink. <laughs> but it didn't stop you, not even a little. Heck, that year you even got me to see some things differently. I don't think I ever did anything like that. You did when you came in after class the Friday before Mother's Day. Take a look at this. I've saved all of your little sketches, Olivia. I'm such a proud papa. <laughs> I've had the quill pen, and the first thing I know about it is how soft the feather portion is. It's the special pen you always use. It's actually from my wife. Really? I'm straight? Wow, I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> Whoa. Inspecting it closer, I can now see a few more of the intricate details. From the faded engravings on the shank to the maintained but worn print point, I can talk. It's well made and kept, and yet the feather and the breast show its age. She came in that afternoon with a whole stack of crumpled painting drafts, so frustrated she couldn't get it right and so determined to make it perfect. I say any of these would be great. Your aunt would love any of these, and she fires back. If it's not good enough for me, why would it be good enough for someone I love? That's my impression of Olivia, by the way. <laughs> I did not have an answer. So I tell her to take a step back, we take a few more hours to go over fundamentals once more, and I send her home to try to get it right over the weekend. I'm losing the sentence very quickly, <laughs> and come home Monday. She returns, and the first thing she does is hug me. It's very inappropriate for a student-teacher relationship, but I let it slide. <laughs> Your high school art classes are pass or fail, but how do you judge that? Way to crush some, like, young spirits. Also, YouTube chat, I want to see the live chat in order, not just the top chats, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Sorry if you're a little behind. The, the, the stream's always a little a little ahead of chat. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, what do you call it? Latency. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> I talked about it all night with my wife, and then that morning she divorced me. <laughs> I decided to make a change myself. My wife was molting at the time. There was always a new feather or three on our blankets each morning. Oh, right, some, some dinosaurs have feathers, I suppose. I took the biggest one and preserved it right. Got a bit of help to make it into a real pen. And I've used it ever since. It helps me remember to do my job right for the people I care about and for the people my students care about. Isn't that a lovely story? I think it was that... I think it- I think what it was, it's that childlike reasoning that comes so naturally to the youth. 
The reasoning? It makes a type of innocent, earnest dedication. Something I think I'd lost for a while. Like my marbles. I've lost those a long time ago. Don't give me so much credit. You haven't lost it, have you? Dot, dot, dot. Good. Don't lose it for me, okay? Okay. I get yawns and stretches. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm supposed to inko again. This is like a guy taking his wife's leg hair and turning it into a makeup brush. You, you, you kind of right? <laughs> you kind of right? <laughs> you feeling alright to go to your next class? Yes, I'm ready. Great. He claps a hand. He claps a hand over my back. I can't switch voices very well tonight, apparently. We should do this again sometime. So long, ta la. <laughs> Mr. Anakin ushers us out of his classroom as the light bell trills, handing us a note he'd rapidly scrawled on. Miss Broccoli didn't seem enthused as he has come in late, but sighed as she read the note from Anakin. Oh, okay, he gave, him, gave, us, he gave us permission. As I took my usual spot, I felt something odd in the corner of my eye. Just in my eye. <laughs> looking up, it was to see Olivia looking my way, with that smile on her face. One that spoke so many words, yet I couldn't figure out what. I'm very face blind. <laughs> all I could do was, t all I could do in turn was try to match it before focusing on Miss Brockley's latest lecture. I'm <laughs> just imagining him like giving her a serial killer smile from across the room now. <laughs> yeah, he gave he gave her a note that says you are Lisa Simpson, and then he went to sleep on his desk because he's been day drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. <clears throat> As more time passes, the art contest fades into the background. Last week I had a scare when Principal Scaler called me to her office. I feared that they figured out what Olivia did and assumed I was part of it, just as she predicted. Luckily, that wasn't the case. We got away with it. Instead, she wanted to inform me that they had no leads as to who could have done the swap, and since it was tampered, it'd be removed from the contest. No skin off my back, honestly. I got the hug that gator. As compensation, she gave me one of the runner-up prizes, a coupon for some pizza <laughs> from some Italian restaurant called Dynomo's. Dynomo's. <laughs> yeah, he's so face blind he doesn't have his own face. <laughs> Is it a Snoop game reference? <laughs> nice. Not the biggest pizza fan, but not a bad price to get after all of this. Saving it for a rainy day. However, I found myself in a conundrum of my own doing. What do you mean saving for a rainy day? The only thing we've seen you eat in this game is like, like, like month old breakfast burritos from your freezer and chips and then finally like a cheeseburger. Like, get some food in you and go. <laughs> my parents' concerns about my entry were resolved, but I hadn't accounted for the new questions about my portfolio. My paint? Portfolio. The few times I showed off my photography work, they'd be mildly impressed at best. Everyone is, everyone is oppressing photography in this art school. <laughs> I honestly did think it was gonna be like a Footloose type thing where everybody had to like come to, come to uh, respect photography. But no, I guess he's just an annoying photography bro. I bet his, I bet his photography profile is like full of like just generic photos of sunsets and like, like. Blurry close-up shots of flowers and things. I'm just imagining his photos are like complete garbage <laughs> I'm sure other people have made that joke Like what if it one of the photos in his portfolio like has his finger over over part of it, you know <laughs> I remember up front about it either. No, it said I got the run around. Oh, yeah, huh? These are nice Inko. Yeah, very very, very good. <laughs> Not bad, not bad, uh-huh. What about what you did for the contest? I can't even be mad about it. This is just another misunderstanding. Unintended lie from my side of things. But then I had a thought. It really hurt my head to have a thought. <laughs> what if it wasn't a lie? What if I was actually good at painting? After working at it for the past month. <laughs> what do we got, Inko? <laughs> yeah, I know, I can't unscrew this. <laughs> Bronies make those cursed stock images, he'd be a millionaire. Yeah. <clears throat> For the past three weeks, I've been staying after school, making use of one of the club rooms of, to practice. Ish, Inko, did you listen to any of the tips I gave you? 
Using everything I had at my disposal, namely the textbooks for Mr. Eidekin and how-to tutorials online, <laughs> I'd stay as late as possible trying to get the same skill level as Olivia. Why do you just listen to her? <clears throat> and as I stare at the horrid acrylic monstrosity before me, I can do nothing but weep at my own inadequacies. <laughs> that's, that's a normal day for you. <laughs> Not actually weep. But squinting at the Lovecraftian horror before me, I can see maybe a little progress drowning in the madness of the excess paint! <laughs> His two brain cells collided and gave him a thought. <laughs> For the first time in a while. <laughs> I love you, I made good on our promise to teach me around the time I asked Mr. Heineken to borrow the keys to the spare room. And while I memorized all of her teachings down to the letter, <clears throat> What am I even looking at? Are you trying an abstract sort of thing here? It was an attempt at a self-portrait, actually. <laughs> Couldn't be any worse than the portrait she did of you. With the with the, the fucking muddy brown smeared background and shit. <laughs> oh look, they're doing the teacher student kink, yeah. <coughs> I mean, it is a little funny that the art in this game that's supposed to be amazing is just kind of eh. <laughs> I know what they're trying to do, I know, but it's just a little funny. The before snoot is maybe as- Yeah, Sweet Baby Ink uh, worked on Goodbye Volcano High, which everyone made fun of, and then Channers were like, let's make our own parody of it. And then that became Snoot Game. And then they were like, you know what, this is fun. <laughs> and then they made this game. It's a great story. It was funded by the entire country of Canada. Always Canada. Always. The best art shows up at the end? Okay. They'd probably post it online and some rich asshole would buy it. I don't think... <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Are we doing the NFT thing, Olivia? No. Never trust the opinions of people on the internet. If I could make Olivia look directly into the camera right now, I would. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Never look at the comments, Inko. Never look at the comments. <laughs> dot dot dot. After a brief period of awkward silence, I let myself collapse on a stool behind me and toss off the oily apron in frustration. Just pretend! Just pretend I was wearing an apron! At this rate, I'm going to be a double fraud or something. Crick. Oh. Is this gonna accidentally make the painting look amazing? You base Olivia. Olivia is the most base character in this game. <laughs> I don't even have the energy to get angry. Probably looks better now, at least. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> How did Olivia get so good at this? How did she get so good at roasting me? <laughs> Olivia, please, you gotta have some actual advice for me. I think you're kind of hopeless, dude. <laughs> she quietly hums to herself, slipping away a notebook she'd had splayed across her lap into her nearby bag. <clears throat> Well, when I want to draw, it's usually because I've got something on my mind. So, yeah, that might be kind of hard for you, Inko. <laughs> Olivia made an essay on Steven Universe and everyone got mad. Kind of funny since I gave her like a high-pitched version of my Jasper voice. <laughs> what? Like? Inspiration? No, my trauma, you dumbass. Kinda. More so I just envisioned something. A and I want to put it on that canvas. Amused, then. I don't really- ah! Damien, what the hell? <laughs> the door of the studio flies open and Damien quickly storms inside. Anko, Olivia, are you guys here? I can't see like right in front of my face, apparently. He takes every breath as his vision darts around the room. After a moment of surprise, I raise my arm to catch his attention. Damien, bro, are you tweaking? What's, what is, what's happening? Damien, what is wrong? The hyperactive Dilophosaurus spots me, taking a final breath before jogging over. Guys, I need to ask you something. What? Is everything all right? Is something happening? It's gonna be like nothing, is it? It's gonna be something stupid. <clears throat> I can't help but panic. I've never seen Damien this flustered. I'm out of weight. <laughs> Do you want to come to the arcade with me and Liz? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Damien is always on something. Look at him. <laughs> you should make a compilation of every time I said something right after the game did. Oh my god, if you do. <laughs> yeah. Or
Or give me timestamps, Kaiser, and I'll edit it together and upload it. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that's what I said. I think, he, I think he just got the idea just now and had to, like, race down the hallway to find them because he's just like that. Wait, when was this decided? Just now. <laughs> I thought something bad had happened. I'm pouting. <laughs> nope, just asking. Liz already has the car prepped and everything. She can fit in a car? Is she driving? <laughs> I gotta see this. <laughs> oh. I probably should have expected that, but still. How did you know we were here? Damien. I didn't. I just kept opening doors until I found you two. I believe it. I believe he did that. <laughs> oh, God. I, I had to admit that Damien is my fucking spirit animal. I kept saying so many things before he did. <laughs> Oh, I, yeah, I always do a different voice for Liz, like, every fucking stream. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's different, like, even in the same stream, so just mind me. I just do not have a voice for her. <laughs> I've been at it for a while, actually. Like, a whole hour. <laughs> Damien's eyes dark to the canvas that lies on the floor next to me. You working on your next masterpiece? Oh, painting sideways is probably one of your trade secrets. Secrets? I can talk, huh? I'm so high right now. Olivia hides her snicker with her hand. Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right, Damien, yeah. <clears throat> His pogger face, yeah. <laughs> kind of makes him look a little bit like Jar Jar Binks when he does the park pog face, though, doesn't it? Now you'll never get that image out of your head. <laughs> don't tell anybody. I lean down to pick up the canvas and place it upright, deciding to remove the ugly painting and place it in the corner of the room to dry. Anyway, how about it? To the arcade? Uh, oh, the Olive Bar Baryonyx Fidgets. I can't pronounce dinosaur names very well. Why did I go to dinosaur school? <laughs> Her brow lowered in contemplation as she considers the question. <clears throat> Yeah, right, didn't you fucking tell me about Hot Wheels? Nah, he's, he's trying to cheer her up, I think. The arcade, huh? It's not like they had any other plans today. Or I had. It's not like I ever have any plans, ever. <laughs> it's like that one line from Steven Universe when Rose asks young Greg, like, are you doing anything later? And he's like, you know I'm not with the finger guns. That's fucking Inko. <laughs> Why that fits, but it does. Barry Onyx. I think I got it eventually. You know what? I played Ark Survival Evolve for like years. You'd think I know how to pronounce fucking dinosaur names. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, let's go. Wait, don't just. Hey, I'm being kidnapped. <laughs> Inko, Olivia, there you are. Uh, Damien was just taking so long to get you. I was worried I had to come in and find you for myself. I don't. I don't have a consistent voice. Just we're just gonna deal with this. <laughs> this time, both Damien and I are wasting for air. Despite Olivia's protests and hesitation, Damien had wasted no time in grabbing her by the handlebars and sprinting for the exit. Cause he's a fucking brother. They're definitely siblings. He's such an asshole. <laughs> She's not a baryonyx, she's a caprosuck something else I can't pronounce. <laughs> I had chased after them all the while Olivia screamed like a banshee as she was pushed through the hallway at breakneck space. <laughs> sure she did. Yeah. This oh, oh I'm so out of shape. I gotta stop just eating nothing but beef jerky sticks. I take a deep breath and stand upright. <gasps> Olivia's claws have dug into her armrests, and she's definitely trying to kill Damien with her glare, which he happily ignores. <coughs> Liz is like Doug Dimodome. We never see, like, the bend in her neck. Her neck is as long as you want it to be. Arcade, can I get your fighting game dictionary? I should know fighting game stuff from the 90s, I guess. I probably won't know anything. <laughs> Why didn't you just message me or something? 
I wanted to, but... Damien just took off running, probably. I didn't want to ruin your concentration, man. <laughs> you know? So instead, I burst into the room screaming your name. <laughs> That's definitely less intrusive. So instead, you kick the art room door open? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Liz had the good grace to look embarrassed on Damien's behalf. <laughs> Is this your man, Liz? Is this your man? <clears throat> really, Liz. But yeah, gave, gave you a little bit of extra time, right? You've been staying late forever now. I can't hide the wits. How does he know? It didn't occur to me that more people would notice. Ah, relax. Not like you're the only one. Yeah, sometimes I need to stay behind for the student council and club meetings. You know, we have a life, Inko. We have social lives and, and do extracurricular activities, which you, you have done none of that. <clears throat> B does not mean punch while people really don't know fighting games. <laughs> I played Tekken back in the day. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Liz likes his himbos. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh, my throat's a little froggy tonight. Right, sure. Uh, so, uh, Probably because I was screaming at Lily Orchard so much yesterday. <laughs> Come on, the car's in the student section. I Okay, I'm really interested to see her drive. I, I honestly am. The dino duo starts from the student parking lot, heading towards the rather old but well-kept sedan. Olivia grumbles silently to herself, but I follow after nonetheless. Come on, dude! It'll take a few minutes to get Olivia in, and then 30 to get it to the arcade. <clears throat> it won't take that long, damn it! Just throw her in the back. Olivia hops and wails herself to the passenger side, opening the door for herself. You need any? It's fine. To punctuate her statement, Olivia uses her strong arms to lift herself on her armrest. This is go. She's she's this is gonna go badly or something, isn't it? Then, with more grace than I thought possible from the olive scaled girl, is this a fan fiction now? <laughs> she manages to flop down into the passenger seat. Oh, that's impressive. I was not looking at her badonkadonk. I swear. I stare at the abandoned chair, wondering where to put it. Oh, does it? Yeah, does it fold up? No. Oh. I've got room in the trunk, Inko. So does Olivia, Brumpish. <laughs> Clunk. The trunk lid pops open with a heavy thunk to punctuate that. It takes me more time than I'd like to admit to figure out how to undo the locks to actually collapse the chair, but once it's done, I'm able to slide into the spacious storage areas easily. Damien had already hopped through the window of the front passenger seat by the time I'm done. As if he'd practiced the maneuver. He fucking, like, dukes of hazards his way into the car. Of course he fucking does. He can't be normal about anything. <laughs> I love a woman with upper body strength, says Enko. Clack, 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 clack. I open the door behind Liz's seat and watch the pile of soda cans empty into the pavement below. <laughs> I feel so cold out right now. <laughs> when I got my new car, I swore I would keep it clean, and I did for the longest time, but now, yeah, there's a little bit of a collection of cans and, and junk mail and other shit in there I need to clean out. <laughs> ah, sorry, that was from this morning. How many energy drinks do you, do you drink in the morning, Damien? <laughs> I just toss him to the back seat when I'm done. God, da God, da God damn it, Damien is my spirit animal. <laughs> That's exactly what I do if I'm out driving all day doing errands and I get like an energy drink or something. When I finish it, I toss it into the back seat. <laughs> I said, Cheaty, I am wrestling. I'm wrestling with the, the undeniable knowledge that Damien is my fucking spirit animal again. <laughs> <coughs> oh, funny is about to happen. Sorry, I'm trying not to cough until the mic. But I want to have my throat clear to do stupid voices. I'm surprised Liz doesn't make you use a bag. I do. <laughs> Damien pulls up an overflowing plastic bag as if it were a trophy. Throw out your garbage, Damien! Uh, why haven't you tossed all those bottles out already? I'm saving them for a project about recycling. Plus, I'm going to use a couple of them for a sculpture. It saves me the trouble of going out and finding aluminum. I don't know. Well, I guess you could make an aluminum can sc sculpture look pretty cool, but it's like not the most, not the most like durable. <clears throat> I'm kidding, Damien. I know. God, caffeine is like water for Damien. 
And I get to drink as much soda as I want. We don't need Damien to have any more caffeine. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I, I don't really say anything as Damien scoops out the rest of the cans from the floor of the car and puts them in a new bag. And then stuffs the car's trunk before giving me and Olivia a thumbs up. Alright, dudes. We're good to go. Oh, this is a cute picture. Ah, this is what I should use for the thumbnail. <clears throat> I mean, I make I make the I make the thumbnail for the stream, but then if there's like a cool scene like this, I go find it in the game files. <laughs> he is a Dilophosaur. Rumor is that they were too stupid to even play fetch. <laughs> the ending: Katamian dies of a caffeine overdose. Yeah, dur 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 environmentalism. <laughs> Damien only drinks Gatorade! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, I hate you. <laughs> I nodded slick until the semi-clean seat. My head searches for the buckle of the seatbelt and brushes against something warm and soft. There's a tiny gasp next to me, as, and the comfortable mystery in my hand is yanked away. Oh, my. <laughs> huh? Did you just grab my ass? <laughs> is it? I look to Olivia, her head held to her chest. Her great face is scarlet, a tinge in her mirror shade eyes glare holes through my head. I, did I just grab her boob? I think I just grabbed her boob. Are you okay? <clears throat> <laughs> I don't think she minded it. The emerald scared girl turns her maw from me. I stifle a mystery chuckle at that. The warmth on my palm fades, however, and leaves my head feeling lost. <clears throat> Okay, all the safety checks are done. Safety checks, really? She like go like test. Does she like go test the the air and all of her tires and shit before she drives a car? <clears throat> <laughs> Look at her all with her. She like she hangs her neck from like a hook. She hangs her neck from like a hook when she drives. I thought she was gonna put it out the sunroof or something. How do they sit like this with tails? Maybe, maybe there's holes in the seats that go to the floor. Is Inko colorblind? Maybe. He has to wear prescription sunglasses all the time. They have to be sunglasses. This is such a good part. Okay, I gotta keep going. Let's get to the driver's seat and grips the steering wheel. Outside, she's craning her neck to check the mirrors and tires. Wait, Liz drives with her head sticking out the window? Oh, maybe she does. Liz pokes her head in. What's that? Her neck snakes inside and coils around the hook in the middle of the car. <clears throat> and then with practice motion, her neck continually coils till her, her head sits atop the neck roll, as if no different from someone putting on shoes. That's an odd analogy. She kind of looks like a giant scale-covered scarf. There's even enough space for her to see the windows and check behind her. Okay. Inko? Oh, yeah, it wasn't anything important. <clears throat> All right. But, uh, the city, right? I'd actually been wanting to see it a, a bit more close for Heineken's class. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll get some new backgrounds today. Do you know how much gas money it burned to go through, burn through to take a detour around here? Yo, what do we what do we use for fuel anyway? If the dinosaurs never never died out, are we are we are we using our ancestors in our cars? Are we burning our ancestors in our cars? Is this like Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> we're we're using. <laughs> We're using our ancestors as energy. <clears throat> uh, good, cause neither do I. Let's go. She tried to say something. Yeah, she did try to say something and he interrupted. <laughs> hey, what? No. I barely have enough as is. The view on the way is fine. I'm looking forward to it as well. You sure? Yeah, I'll point out some stuff I remember along the way. Hmm, you're my tour guide now? Don't make me change my mind. Like, seriously, don't annoy me. <laughs> Glad that's settled. Everyone buckled in, right? Yeah, they use human fossils as fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pulse away from the school parking lot, starting down the opposite direction I've always entered and exited. I didn't know there was more areas to explore. Weird to think, but the edge of my world it was as close as a right turn out of my own school. <laughs> Bingo. He doesn't know how to turn left. It's like Zoolander. <laughs> then again, I still haven't been living here long. Anybody want a station? I think I'll put it on country. 
I don't know why I would do that. I don't think I've ever listened to the radio here either. Oh god, it's a terrible screeching dinosaur music. <laughs> Listen, Olivia hardly seemed to glance in Damien's direction as well. Do it yourselves. Within the span of a few seconds, the natural ambience of the road is replaced with a loud sound of decades-old rock music, setting vibrations throughout the car and everybody in it. That's the perfect music for a road trip, though. Just as fast as it comes, however, it stops as Liz haphazardly yanks the volume knob counterclockwise, toning the music down to a bearable level. Damien frowns for a moment, but he doesn't seem to contest her decision. Yep, she's just she just wants to wrangle this man for the rest of their lives. You think the American Cub can teach people anything? <laughs> <laughs> what the? I turned off all the notifications stuff except for messages and calls. And between all the people I messaged, there's only one who isn't inside the car. Inka, why are you so autistic? <laughs> why are you so autistic? Checking the screen, I see. <laughs> Any song requests, man? I decided to text you from the front of the car because I'm just that kind of guy. <laughs> Seriously? I'm, I'm driving the whole way, pointing back at you, but I had to text you. <laughs> I don't know, Damien, so long as it isn't twangy country music. <laughs> yes, Damien, please do not play your people's music. It offends me. <laughs> For real, though, I really, really do not like country music. It's like country and opera are the only two things I won't listen to. <laughs> sure, sure. Wait, you've been texting? Are you making fun of me behind my back? Do I have to kill you? <laughs> How long? Yeah, since like the first week of school. Dot dot dot. What the heck, dude? Let me see your phone. I had it over open. I had it over open on the contact contact creation page. She taps the first few numbers and pauses, and sheepishly yanks her phone from her coat pocket. She doesn't know her own number. Olivia, you dork. Olivia finishes tapping her number and it hands it back. Though. To be fair, this is why I can never, ever, ever change my cell phone number, no matter what, because I won't be able to remember another one. <laughs> Thank you, Wald of the Wars. Everyone told me to do my Jasper impression from Steven Universe, and it has ended up a little bit higher pitched because it's easier to switch back and forth between voices. So now Olivia just has her own voice. <laughs> Tammy and Stairs Inc. go dead in the eye from half a meter away while texting him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Christian rock would also be a genre I would not want to listen to. I think that kind of falls into, like, the country... area. <laughs> She's entered herself as Live Longs. So, okay, we've got confirmation that Damien must have entered himself as D-Man if they both do this. <laughs> she thinks she's deathly jaundiced? I mean, looking at her, her, her general track record of, um, health, maybe. Ah, oh, sounds vaguely oriental! Enko, you can't say that word anymore! <laughs> Bzz, even louder. Test. Yep, I got it. Bzz. <laughs> I love you too, Olivia. That was uncalled for! That's why I sent it. She giggles at her own joke, and despite being the butt of it in the mood, wait, despite being the butt of it, the mood of the car is too high to hold it against her. Just like, just like these streams. Even though I'm the butt of all of your jokes, I can take it because it's funny. <laughs> Before long, the dense forestry starts giving way to more urban developments. I can click the images on the phone. Ah, sorry, <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> oh well. More and more decorative palm trees start dotting the paths as well. The silhouette of the city gets closer as we approach the one of those spaghetti junctions. <laughs> oh yeah, those terrible American highways we have. <laughs> Stressing her hand on her snoot instead of her cheek? I think so. Uh, the result of decades of poor infrastructure decisions, multi-million dollar projects promising to fix all the traffic. <laughs> if they just built one more overpass! <laughs> that is literally... Literally, literally, literally what the roads are like when you enter Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> it is a fucking mess. And they just keep adding shitty little roads to try to fix it and it doesn't fix anything. <laughs> God, I know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, 
Olivia is playing close attention to her phone. She scrolls lazily through some forum. She scrolling Reddit, probably? <laughs> What's so funny? Memes. Uh, nothing. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get it. You're not terminally online like me. <laughs> Lizard Lounge? Oh boy, you're still browsing that, Olivia? That's like a kid's site, Olivia. Stop. Yeah? What is it? Don't tell him. It's this weird exclusionary chat room. They only allow dinosaur women, men, and rather specifically human men are banned. Gasp! Racial segregation! <laughs> I say it with a smile, giving you a finger gun. <laughs> Racial segregation ain't coming. <laughs> ain't it exciting? <laughs> it's not the great image, just image for this. <laughs> Olivia showed me once, the people on it are really weird. I think I'll just keep going with high-pitched me for Liz, it's just easier. <laughs> Humans are banned? You weren't supposed to tell him. It's the last safe house for us on the internet. Us gators, I guess, or just dinosaurs, or just dinosaur women. I think there's probably better places for that online for you to associate with. I don't appreciate secret chat rooms that I don't understand. Tell me about the racial segregation. <laughs> Damien, stop talking about racial segregation. <laughs> it's not that. It's just how it has to be for our safety. Some dino girl can be doing anything at all, and there's always at least three guys in the comments saying she looks like... <laughs> <laughs> so what? <laughs> Is it common? Is it common for human men in this world to thirst trap dinosaurs? <laughs> I had no doubt in my mind that Olivia was a channer this entire time. Come on. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> they also really bring down the quality of the site. Look, it's explained in the rules that humans have one-fifth the attention span of dinos. <laughs> Where do you get that stat it's statistic from? <laughs> Liz groans while Olivia shows me her phone. The graph is blurred to hell and I can't make out most of the time. <laughs> it's just like every argument on Twitter. I don't know how I feel about all this. What's not to get, Inko? Think about it. You're in history class. It sucks. So you just remember, wait a second, I'm human and stop listening. I wish I could do that. According to Lady Hitler here, you can. What, did Hitler exist? Did Hitler exist in this world? Was he a dinosaur? <laughs> what dinosaur was Hitler? <laughs> This is fucking killing me! <laughs> yeah, one fifth of the attention span, she says, to Damien, who probably doesn't even remember where they're going. <laughs> well, we have Raptor Jesus, that's true! <laughs> oh, we gotta get an explanation, because this, be, this should be great. It's just a funny group of women like me. I mean, like, like women can just, like, like, there could be small groups of women just hanging out online. It's loud. <laughs> Lay off. Let me have it. You don't really believe that stuff, though, do you? About, about humans being garbage? Not really. Just the rules of the place, all right? Okay. I think you might be righteous. I got showmans. You asked me about my skin color before, Olivia. I'm very suspicious now. <laughs> there, are Jewish, there are Jewish dinos. <laughs> Uh Okay, well, well, like... So did somebody crossbreed with a dino at some point and, and give them the Jewish bloodline? I mean, <laughs> how does that work? Maybe we should've just, maybe we just, it's a stupid gag. Maybe we should've just questioned this. <laughs> Lady, Lady Hitler was a white triceratops who hated carnivores. <laughs> like how they hate predators in Zootopia. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, women like you, where could I find this chat room? <laughs> That's exactly why they have a no men rule. <laughs> Olivia sticks her the phone back in her pocket with a huff. Ugh. Was the ride to the arcade always this long? You guys are making it really awkward. I think we're about 20 minutes away from the arcade still. Let's make this conversation even more awkward. <laughs> 
Don't worry, Inko, the water fountains are integrated. <laughs> oh, shut up. I, I forgot he was talking about segregation. I was like, why are you telling him that water is integrated into the place that you think he needs to like, do you think he needs to like soak in water for a bit? <laughs> Much like Damien, I already forgot what we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know, Damien's just been staring at us this entire car ride. Stop it, Damien. It's very hard to be a Jewish scaly without people saying your very existence is a reference to anti-Semitic theory. <laughs> Imagine the Twitter arguments over that one. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is killing me. <laughs> All right. I hope the place still sells those hot dogs for just a dollar. You know, it's been like 10 years. I'm sure they're just a dollar still. <laughs> Inflation doesn't exist in Dino World. It's so much better. There's no way anyone, anyone sells hot dogs for a dollar anymore. Yes. True. <clears throat> yeah, but they did. And it was great. Olivia and I would save our lunch money just to go there instead after class. Just eat shitty hot dogs at the arcade that have probably been sitting there for a day. <laughs> I don't think I'd trust it if they were still that cheap, honestly. You ate, you ate a dog off the floor once. That's different. It's the five second rule, Damien. God. Or should I say, I don't know, Raptor God. <laughs> Damien fills the air with old tales of his and Olivia's adventures in the arcade. Occasionally, she'd chime in to correct him on whatever whatever over-embellishment. Damien over-embellishing things? <laughs> Even as the last remnants of suburbia melt away, the skyscrapers overtake the view of the outside world. Finally, I'm in the big city. Here we are. I'm almost disappointed when we pull into the arcade parking lot. We're only going to see, like, one ba new background, probably. Large glass windows covered in sunbleached promotional leaflets adorn the front of the arcade, and the building itself looks a couple of decades old. This place was probably successful in the past, but now I can only imagine they break even nowadays. <laughs> yeah, most old school arcades have pretty much disappeared uh, for the most part. This is a little unfortunate. Just look at arcade machines and like bars and stuff, though. Dollar dog days. <laughs> yeah. Do you think Mary was a human or a dinosaur? <laughs> Mary was human and had had the virgin birth of Raptor Jesus. It was extra miraculous. <laughs> well, I mean, the dinos can crossbreed, so why can't humans and dinos? We don't know. It, it seems to work on Beastars rules. <laughs> no, me being Jewish and a raptor does not make me part of a world-controlling conspiracy. <laughs> the, the reptilian conspiracy theories would have more of a point in this world. Oh, God. Reptilians are my favorite conspiracy theory because it's just so stupid. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe the recent resurgence of the Retro Deco could change that. I can show you more of the return. I can show you more on the return trip. Come on. <laughs> oh, God, we got another one that's just a, just a photo with a Photoshop filter slapped onto it. This looks like it's in Florida. <laughs> Yet she must have seen my brief hesitance. Liz unlocks the trunk and I hop out to get Olivia's chair, like a good boyfriend. As I attempt to heave the thing out of Liz's trunk, it takes considerably more effort than I'd like to admit with my noodle arms and my muscles that have been built up by breakfast burritos <laughs> and chips. <laughs> now how do I unfold this blasted thing? I think there's a release button, right? Ah! <laughs> To make sure that all my fingers were intact, I could see Olivia snickering through the passenger window. I was hoping nobody saw that. <laughs> Inko-san, you have much to learn. Observe. Olivia makes the brakes. Make sure the brakes are held and heaves herself in over in one motion. I guess Karate Kid also exists in this world. <laughs> the chair is forced open by the momentum alone with a loud crack. I bet she enjoys doing that. She gracefully rolls by me, tongue stuck out in smug victory over my ineptitude. God, I love her. Imagine the tag characters getting high and going to an aquarium. Imagine the tag characters being put in this game. Yeah. I'm just reading everybody's conspiracy theories in the chat now. <laughs> Ready? Sweet! 
Damien hurries us inside. I can tell he's the most excited to be here out of anybody. He thinks like a child. Oh. At least this has a little bit of art on it. Dude, this place is the bomb. I'm very easily impressed. <laughs> we used to scrounge for change to come here after school. The place is a buzz with activity, flashing machines all competing for attention, and gamers excitedly conversing. I lean it a bit closer to Olivia. It's pretty dang loud in here! You going to be alright having to speak up more? <laughs> oh, you got Pog Damien, yeah. Of course I am! What do you take me for, a kid? Sorry! Dot dot dot. I appreciate the concern. What?! <laughs> Let's scowls as she peels her boot from the floor with a loud. <laughs> Damon, you could have warned me about. And then he just walks away without letting me finish my sentence. This is this is my man. This is my man. Damien's taken off toward a nearby coin machine. Fistfuls of bulls at the ready. I might have accidentally hit the space bar, but that was funnier. <laughs> I could have told you too. I've been here before. So why didn't you warn me about the stickiness? Olivia shrugs. Liz's head lowers to the bridge of Snoop pinching levels. Well, you two did kind of drop this on me at the last minute, you know. <laughs> and I still remember this place pretty well. Great, you can show Inko around. I'll go with Damien. I, I have to, I have to watch him in public. We don't know what he might do. <laughs> Liz meekly puts her pointer fingers together as she looks at the salmon-filled chain. Really, this is really her man. Dear God. <clears throat> Those two-player gun thingies look fun to try out. Oh, she's excited about the machines, not Damien. Okay, good. <laughs> you mean the light gun games? You fake gamer girl? God. <laughs> yeah, those ones. Just go let her play Time Crisis, for fuck's sake. I can't put my finger on it, but something tells me that Liz was banking on splitting apart from the start. Yeah, she definitely wanted to make this a double date. You're not, you're not smooth, Liz. <laughs> her mouth still works, Inko. <laughs> oh, what gave me an ample opportunity to have some time alone with Olivia? Just to get to know her more, of course. You know, nothing untoward. I am a gentleman. Liz, I think I broke this one's joystick. See, Liz, you took your eyes off of him for five fucking seconds. Look what happens. Liz sighs heavily through her nose. Ah, this, this, this is my man. This is my man. Seriously, time man. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, that was kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, come on, it's perfectly even and fair. You sure about this, Liz? We should all just stick together. I, can you really handle Damien on your own? I, I am I'm questioning this. He needs to be on a leash. And not in the fun way. <laughs> the long-necked dino looks around the arcade nervously. As much as I want to protest the suggestion, it might be for the best. Liz wants to stick with Damien, probably to make sure he doesn't do more damage. <laughs> and Olivia knows this place well. So she'd know all the best games. That's... <laughs> It's ruined without Gamer Musk. You can smell this place. It is full of Gamer Musk. <laughs> Lord help us. Lord help us when she has kids with that man. Oh, God. We've already been spending time together after school, so why not? I'm not against the idea. Just, uh, I'm socially inept. All right. Glad you agree. Get out of here, Liz. He's mine now. <laughs> Liz takes this as her cue to leave. That's the wrong use of Q, actually, game makers. That is the wrong use of Q. <laughs> you wanted C-U-E, game makers. <laughs> and she quickly pulls Damien away deep into the arcade. Meanwhile, Olivia begins to roll ahead, but stops and gives me an annoyed look. Ugh. Come on already. We're on a date, dumbass. <laughs> ah, right. As soon as I step closer, Olivia resumes her casual roll down the aisle way. <laughs> They use the wrong cue a lot. No, that's all right. I'm just, I'm just poking fun at it. I don't really care. <laughs> Olivia's eyes seem distant as she looks over the various game cabinets in the room. Silver Irish, Irish is really <laughs> dancing to and fro, a soft hum resonating from her mouth. I try to follow where her gaze lingers, but she seems to be constantly drifting to something new every other moment while deep in her own thoughts. As we carry on slowly, the creeping awkwardness of my stomach gnaws away at me. I did not eat today. <laughs> I have no clue what to do right now. The point of this excursion was to relax. But I'm on a date with a girl. A real girl. I don't know what to do. 
It feels rude to interrupt her, but she definitely knows better than me. Say, Olivia! My voice brings her back to the current moment with a start, her hands maneuvering her chair around to look at me fully. This is my man, huh? This this is my man. <laughs> what uh, what game should we try first? The Baryonyx shrugs her shoulders. Anything. <laughs> How about start with the two-player ones? Maybe. You know? Imagine Inko plays DDR, he'd die. He'd probably snap his ankle on the first move. <laughs> You know, a human in a pterodactyl makes another pterodactyl based on Snoot game, really? Huh. Yeah, <laughs> Ginko plays cool math games. That's the only- <laughs> he thinks he's a gamer. In Inko and Olivia playing Time Crisis together is a cute image? It would be. Kaiser, get on that. <laughs> Olivia playing DDR? She'd probably use her hands and tail. She would- she would do it. I don't think it would be hard to beat Inko in DDR. In fact, I do not think it would be hard for someone in a wheelchair to... Anybody in a wheelchair to beat Inko in DDR. <laughs> for those of you who don't know what DDR is, we're talking about Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> okay, then how about one of your favorites? My favorites? Oh, I have preferences, right? I've been too depressed to remember. <laughs> yeah, you used to come here all the time. I'm sure you got something you prefer. A look, a surprise of her is quickly hidden by her turning her chair back around. She's so sundary! Fine, my favorites then, my favorites. Hmm, I haven't enjoyed anything in like five years, so let me let me think about this. Damon is already a hybrid, that's true. It is Beastars rules. It is just Beastars rules. Like anybody can breed with anybody. <laughs> she punches her wheelchair with purpose toward a particularly large screen in the corner. Looking at it closer, there's a large block connected to it and a dull multicolored sticks hanging off the sides with wires. Now, oh, damn it. Hmm. I look up at the title of the screen. Ruin Robbers? That sounds really lame, Olivia. The more I look at it, the more I see where the splotches of fresh paint barely cover the poorly done marker graffiti. Olivia's pout is so prominent as she glares at the base of the funny looking block before the screen. She's adorable. They updated it. So it should be better then, right? <laughs> I cannot read a room. Uh. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just reading everybody's comments. Toddler could probably beat him, yeah. <laughs> Inko, try, Inko tries to do GDR like, The club can't even handle me right now! And then he immediately just like... <laughs> can't breathe because he's out of shape. <laughs> her pout breaks, transforming into a depressed frown as her eyes seem to gloss over. Oh no! Oh no! She's retreating into depressed mode! I must do something! I follow her gaze to the metal plate at the base and try to... To try to better understand, I am a, I am not a very smart man. The machine looks pretty well maintained, if you ask me. Something wrong with it? He added a foot pedal for the cover action. Oh, it's so lame. You could use your tail, though. You could use your tail, though. <laughs> this is discrimination, Inko. <laughs> I test the plate, feeling it sink down and noticing the video demo on the screen. It changes the screen with a bunch of ass <laughs> numbers next to each instance. Classic. Classic! You beat an arcade game, you get in the top score, you put ass. <laughs> She's only paralyzed from the knees down, I don't know, that would still be a little uncomfortable, don't you think? This sucks. Olivia's hands curl into fists as she glares at the machine. A twinge runs through my chest when I look back at the frustrated dino girl. One aspect of her favorite pastimes has been changed in a way that almost robs her of it. The thought strikes a painful chord in my heart! Though I had had zero hand in the game update. <laughs> Thank you, Inko. Thank you for informing us. <laughs> All the same, I see the clover scaled girl. <laughs> Looks so clover scaled! Fuck you! Who keeps doing this fanfic writing bullshit? <laughs> Don't do that. It's a terrible way to write. You can just use normal words. No one will notice. <laughs> She is actually a baryonyx and not a, not a gator, apparently. <laughs> the title is a lie! And I turn my eyes away to my feet, the sensation leaving as I do, and a flash of brilliance overcomes me as I look at my loafers. Yes, I am having an idea! I feel it coming! It, it, it's forming in my brain! <laughs> Inko is a fanfic, right? This is just Inko's fanfic. He's in a coma. 
Yeah, he's supposed to be like the Tumblr icon. His name is Inko G. Nito. So, Incognito. <laughs> I know, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> he's a poet, so I let him cook. <laughs> hey! I got an idea! Yeah, I thought I smelled burnt toast. <laughs> she cuts me off with a growl. I know what you're gonna say, and the answer is no. I don't need help from anybody, Inko. So you're willing to just give up because you can't play it easily? Mm, yes. Lilia's response leaves me a bit floored. Her hateful eyes leer venomously at her former favorite game, but I know my idea will work. I definitely have confidence in myself. Okay, you play it then. I'm gonna use her first psychology on her. Yeah. Haven't you been paying attention? I can't... I'll handle the pedal work. Well, isn't that exactly what you were going to... I mean, that was the obvious. Okay. <laughs> the next protagonist is Mysterios, yeah. Oh, he has words on left. Hey, yeah, she tries to visualize what I'm saying. This is a terrible idea, Inko. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Her confused gaze wanders between me and the flat rectangle on the floor. The whole time she looks so goofy, I have to withhold a chuckle in fear of her clawing me. She's so attractive. That's what you do with your knees, so. <laughs> She must have realized, as, <clears throat> realized though, as she snatches a light gun from my hand, her cheeks bearing a red hue. Ha, ah, I knew that would work. How did you redeem a tomato? I turned everything off. <laughs> We're not doing tomatoes tonight. <laughs> How do I stop this from happening when I don't want it to? God damn it. <laughs> don't waste your points tonight. <laughs> uh, I thought I turned them all off. <laughs> did I not save? <gasps> uh... Fine. One game. She looks at the light gun in her hand and takes a deep breath. You better do your job right, Inko. Oh, I love when women threaten me. I give Olivia a nod and she wills herself right next to the arcade machine. Gimme. She reaches out for my hand and goes to take it before I can respond. Oh, blush. She takes it for a split second and then moves it down to grab my wrist instead. Her scales are soft and cruel. Cool in both senses, like cold, but also like cool. Hit the pedal when I squeeze, capiche? No, that's actually not a bad idea. You're using him like a button. <laughs> Dinko's too tense to be threatened. <laughs> yeah, you'll have you'll have your you'll have your throw, I think, still next time. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, w I was looking at the apps, trying to figure out how to like just put them on pause. You know. <laughs> This is like no way to do it. Game streams, I just don't want to interrupt with tomatoes, but art stream next Wednesday, you can throw all the tomatoes you want at me, all right? <laughs> I nod an affirmation, Olivia blasts at the start button and tend to pieces. Oh, you broke it, Olivia. You broke it, Olivia. No, not so tight. Dude, hit the damn pedal. It's like playing with a controller lag. Inko! Sorry! Holy crap, this is worse than I remember. Hi, it's me. I'm that guy that makes sense. Here you, you can see I put the respawning enemies in front of a place you're forced to cross. I came up with this idea while eating a bird. <laughs> I don't even want to staple my ears to me. Fucking damn it, not again. <laughs> what is this game about? <laughs> it goes definitely a chicken tenders and fries kind of guy. He definitely, definitely is. <laughs> Though there's gonna be a saucy. I have the saucy turned off though. From what from what guys have showed me of the saucy images, they're really not that bad. <laughs> I've drawn saucier for Cougar's channel. Ugh, this game sucks. Wanna play it again? She's a bit intense. But Olivia finally releases her grip on my wrist. I feel my blood rushing through the imprint she left. We ended up playing four or five games in total. That's probably enough. I'm good to move on. You? Are you sure? I don't want to keep you here all day. Olivia looks over the machine while that side before sliding a plastic gun back into its slot. I'm still a bit disappointed they changed it, but... Thanks. Alright, there's better games around anyway. Probably ones that don't need my feet. <laughs> let's go. Can't believe Olivia became a let's player. Where's Monty Gator? Uh, we, were, we were joking earlier, if I just did Olivia's voice in a, in a southern accent, that would be like female Monty Gator. <laughs> Well, hello, I'm female Monty Gator. <laughs> That's actually terrible. 
A stray thought, but before I really got to know Olivia, careened to the forefront of my mind. Uh, I'm hearing Damien's voice in my head. Sometimes along the way, people started calling her Hot Wheels. Don't remember really who or when. I'm a flashback. I'm definitely not behind you. Just whisper it in your ear. But I do know it's proof she got that fire in her. Fire in her. Yes, I must set Olivia on fire. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Speedy Yoshi. You got hit by the auto mod. There we go. I mean, I don't think she can be truly be mockery. She isn't. She isn't. She doesn't murder a twink. <laughs> yeah. It was really funny. It was really funny to finally see Bonnie because Skrill, uh, who has been on the the stream before, she she drew her own body, her own version of glam rock Bonnie, and basically made him David Bowie. <laughs> it's great, really. <laughs> Here, go put the matchstick down. You might murder Ben. I don't think it'd be. I don't think I'd feel too bad if we murder Ben. <laughs> if Archer got to roll away too far, my head takes hold of one of her chair's grips, jolting the Dino Girl from her sudden stupor. Her sullen stupor. Hey, I've got an idea, Hot Wheels. Why don't we try the fighting game you are so good at? Am I gonna accidentally trigger her? <laughs> Olivia, Olivia, you need to drink water. <laughs> the fighting game. I. Olivia's jaw clicks shut and her hands ring together tightly. Arcade cabinets can't change, right? Except we just saw one that had extra shit put on it, but yeah, okay. I mean... Our gaze turns toward the opposite end of the arcade and I can hear the loud hollers of a competition from here. Oh. Oh, people still compete. Wow. Losers. <laughs> Come on, Hot Wheels, what do you say? That name seems to invigorate her. Her glacier irises. Hardening and her ivory claws touching at her wheels. I just read a Stephanie Meyer book and now I'm writing, I'm writing like her. <laughs> An airy grin creeps across her features, tongue polishing her and incisor as her predatory eyes latch onto a particular cabinet on the far side. I have never been more turned off. Olivia picks her direction and speeds off, parting the sea of sweaty dinos and leaving a small space of safety in her wake. And dinosaurs sweat! Can dinosaurs sweat? They are not mammals. <laughs> uh, yeah, Inko is definitely the embodiment of fucking Tumblr. Even his jacket is blue. He's the Tumblr colors, even. Dear fucking Christ. <laughs> At least the colors they had back then. After a short while of passing some digital pachinko machine, she looks back at me for a moment as if to confirm my presence and say, Don't lose me. Like having to watch a puppy. And then yanks her wheelchair to launch herself through the building towards our new destination. Oh, hey! I finally give chase, following as best I can while avoiding the rest of the Allstruck players and just witness the high-speed Dino Girl shoving them aside in her wake. She's so attractive! As I get closer, the atmosphere seems to grow thicker, the very air becoming dank and heavy, almost as if someone dialed a humidifier up to 11. Oh, it reeks of body odor and axe body spray! Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> when she inko on my G till Nito. <laughs> I wonder how he feels about Sans Undertake. <laughs> uh, for a second, I have to stop in my tracks as I catch breath and try to cool down as my shades begin to fog up. So, this is the power of the fighting game crowd. Actually, it is, because, like, oh my god. When Smash Brothers Melee came out on the Wii, I was working at GameStop at the time. And we had a midnight launch, and people were playing, like, the previous one in, like, a little mini competition. And, like, literally, the fucking windows fogged over, because there were so many fucking people. <laughs> I'd heard things, but I thought they were jokes. Through the fog, I spot Liz, or rather Liz's head, sticking above the crowds. Yo, you found us! It's a little, like, hard not to see. Getting closer, Damien and Liz's head come into view. Olivia stops and checks one last time that I didn't get washed away in the crap. It's good. Keep, keep an eye on him. She then moves past Damien and Liz coming to, to a screeching halt next to a particular cabinet that's occupied by somebody else. She removes a shiny coin from her pocket, placing it firmly down on the controls of the current player who hardly glances at her. As I sip closer, I'm able to overhear the exchange between the two dinos. What kind of voice should this fucking guy have? 
Did anyone die at GameStop? Not the GameStop I was at, at least. <laughs> Uh, the greaseball ankylosaur, without even looking away from the cabinet, starts rattling off his credentials to Olivia as if it were a job interview. Okay, I'm just gonna do Reddick's uh, neckbeard voice. <laughs> Game bro voice. Yeah. Or should he sound like, or should he sound like the, the, the comic book nerd from The Simpsons? Maybe he should do that. <laughs> I think we should do the comic nerd. <laughs> that would be a better one. He, he strikes me more like that. <laughs> you do. I am the best dress kick player at the side of Volcaldera, right? Double S ranked. Three online tournament wins. Besides, it's 50 cents, not. Shut up and nut up already. Yep. And if his voice causes Ankylos to grimace and finally turn his head. You really want to try me? Look, Tiny Tim. Wait, what the fuck did I skip that? How? <laughs> oh. Why does it keep skipping dialogue on me? Right. Look, Tiny Tim, you gotta know that I <laughs> lost the voice there for a second. His jaw clicks shut as his eyes manage to sweep above and then down to Olivia, his eyes squinting as his retina slowly adjusts to the low lighting of something not displaying brightly colored... <laughs> the low lighting of something not displaying brightly colored pixelated characters. <laughs> like we're looking at right now. <laughs> Dino Discord mod! <laughs> yes! That is what this fucking guy is. Bro, you know you can't be hanging, bringing chairs over here. Not after last summer. Olivia growls and raises a fist, and I think the pale scale dino finally sees who is challenging him. His moth flaps helplessly as he tries to explain himself before stopping himself completely. <laughs> you think it was like an actual, like, non wheelchair chair? Never mind. Sorry. The gator girl sighs and taps a finger on the quarter she placed down. We'll say you can't refuse, right? We're still going by, like, elementary school rules from, like, ten years ago, right? His head tilts in confusion. You know, you look to be the new champ here, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's the champ's cabinet, right? Damien's come over by this point, followed closely by Liz's head. Champ's cabinet? Unofficial, but that's the oldest one here. Been here since the dawn of time. It's like sacred or something. I look over the old machine, the paint on it chipped and positively covered in marker ink to the point of only being legible, the only legible thing on it being a juvenile edit of the game's title. <laughs> Let me just hopping around in a regular chair, refusing to walk. <laughs> this thing! Yeah, man! They only let the head honchos actually use it. If you're spotted trying without credentials, you'll end up head-butted. That's bull, but I believe it. I believe anything you tell me, Damien. <laughs> I, 25M, and this girl, question mark F, had an arcade dispute, and I broke the game cabinet. Am I the asshole? <laughs> yeah. I look back at Olivia, who's having a withering stare down with the squat guy she challenged. Look, uh, lady, I'm a big deal here. Buster your own nuts, crown champ in all of Ocalia. Okay. Oh, your name is actually just Buster. Okay, okay, or is that your nickname? I don't fucking care. This particular dress kick machine's got a history. It happens to be the same machine that Dino the Rexco managed to parry. Quit stalling and fight me already! <laughs> it's very good I have Jasper's voice. Fight me! <laughs> I'm not. I'm just, uh, setting the stage is all. Plus, you think you're the only challenger I've got? I look around, noticing that there is now a group surrounding us. Are we gonna get mugged? <laughs> and my title is champion. I will take all comers now. A hush whisper goes from the crowd. Finally, I form a line now. Uh, okay. Tallest to smallest. What? Ah. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, heck yeah! We're gonna wipe the floor with you, Buster! <laughs> and then I'm gonna beat you out in the parking lot later for saying that shit to my sister. <laughs> what? Wait! <laughs> what? I don't even play video games! And I'm not really a gamer either! <laughs> he does just play cool math games. <laughs> uh, you're not a real You're not a real gamer unless you murder me! <laughs> 
Too bad. Consider the blood tax. I spend all day here fighting children in fighting games. I'm 35 years old. <laughs> I want to protest further, but Olivia's head turns on me with a pleading look on her face. I cannot resist that uwu face. Besides, I think I want to put my hand... You think I want to put my hands on that thing? Who knows where... Like, this whole place is filthy. <laughs> Warren! Inko! Yay! <laughs> Come on, it won't be that bad. They'll probably beat you really fast and you can just go sit down and wait for us. <laughs> just go get ice cream or something. <laughs> You're still by the Braccio booth, right? Hold tight, I'll come get you. <laughs> I'll come get the rest of you. <laughs> the fuck long is her neck? <laughs> he go plays Roblox. <laughs> he sure fucking does. <laughs> Damien pushes back through the small group around us, following Liz's neck to the re by the rest of her. Yes. Her head swivels around and gives chase. Her pleas to not have to play falling on deaf ears. Brachio booth. The arcade's claustrophobic, so brachiosaurs would tend to bump into everything, including each other. There was some lawsuit, so now there's a few platforms raised where people like her can sit and reach everything. There's even some water fountains attached. Right, she'll save her guys! <laughs> the Brachiosaurus get, get relegated to a little shame box. <laughs> That's terrible. I wonder what Liz thinks of giraffes. I don't know. Do we have sentient giraffes in this world? The lid stop things from getting tangled where there's multiple, but it's something. Ha! Huh. Lore! World building! In the end, Liz must have relented because she shuffles up to the rest of the group. She does not look happy. <laughs> Fine, let's just make this quick. It probably will be quick because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Liz reluctantly steps forward towards the arcade cabinet with a crooked smile, forming on the self-proclaimed champion's face. Watch her beat him by accident. <laughs> it doesn't take long for Liz to completely lose. Okay, never mind. The large Ichthyosaurus hands move like a blur as they dance across the controls, pummeling their digital opponent to the ground. <laughs> as boastful as he was earlier, he at least proved that he was skilled at jur Jurassic. Kick. <laughs> the screen displaying perfect after only a minute against Liz. Liz crosses her arms and starts heading back to her old seat in the booth, head to toe with a pout. Oh, I feel bad for Liz. She's not having any fun on this outing. <laughs> How is she supposed to play anything if her body's in the shame booth and all her head can just float around? <laughs> What's she supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, her neck is as long as the jerk requires, just like Doug Dimidome's hat. It's as tall as the jerk requires. <laughs> Buster lays his head back against Vince's class hands and makes us show that it was no big deal. Yeah, you beat someone who had no experience in the game or video games in general. Yeah, yeah, good job, bud. Good job, pal. Nicked victim. Damien struts to the cabinet and jams his hands in his pockets for his change. Dot, dot, dot. He doesn't have any, does he? Oh, no, never mind. Uh, I'm subverted my expectations. Is there a whole piggy bank in there? I haven't seen your group around before. You guys are really weird. Tourists? Huh? Oh, no, nah, Liv and I used to come here all the time. Life's been tough, you know. So we got some friends to come along on this little trip down memory lane. Lighten the mood a bit. <laughs> I don't care about your backstory. This place hasn't changed much in the years either. Aha! He hoists the quarters high and jams them into the slot. Don't break the damn thing, Damien! Once more, the screen lights up and the character selection music busts in. Buster continue, considers his selection and ultimately chooses the same character. Oh, he's one of those, huh? He's one of those who just mains something he can be really cheap with. Damien, what the fuck? Why do you keep skipping text? Damien, old, old me, and then Damien. Okay, I just skipped past that. Whatever. What's with that death glare? What just happened? Damien just picked a counter to his character. Probably expects all of us to be beginners. Buster does seem a bit more tense now. Uh-oh. Been a while since then, though. <laughs> her explanation is cut short as her words take out a scratchy quality to them. Oh no, she's thirsty! She needs her rum! <laughs> hey, are you okay? Remember to drink water, Olivia! You need to hydrate! Uh, why not? I'm fine. I can go refill your canteen pretty quick. 
No, not that. You're doing boyfriend stuff? <laughs> okay. Yeah, here. <laughs> she reaches behind her and hugs her severely dented water bottle from her chair. Goodbye. Now I need to find the fucking bubbler. There's something to look into for... There's something to look into for Christmas! Dino Christmas! <laughs> that buster guy said there was water near the brachial booths. Even though I can't imagine the water here is very good. We're kind of in the ghetto right now. <laughs> yeah, put out the fire inside you, Olivia! You're burning! Hydrate! Christmas? What? What am I thinking? I'm thinking like a boyfriend! I haven't gotten anyone a gift like that before. I have never gotten gifts for any loved ones or friends because I have none. <laughs> I just spawned. <laughs> okay, Senko, you're just getting some water. Don't get all a fluster. Hmm. I head deeper into the arcade toward the center, passing through the aisle lit by the game screens. You guys done already? Can we can we fucking leave this place now? <laughs> no, just refilling Olivia's bottle. I guess I'm gonna miss Damien's match. Oh, well, it was probably stupid. Hey, Liz! The sticker here, what is it? Her head comes in close as she eyes a weird brand on the canteen. Oh, that's from some really old show. Like, back in the 90s, old. Back in the 90s. Anyway, <laughs> why? Just curious is all. I'm not suspicious at all. Thank you for the follow. I never really asked Olivia about it. I don't ask her about her life or her interests or anything, really. I'm kind of a bitch. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I should. After all, I think I recall watching a video essay about it once. <laughs> I feel so called out right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the land before time. God yeah, the nineties were only ten years ago. I refuse. I refuse to believe they weren't. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, land before time is a period drama in this world. Yeah. What about all the sequels though? Would they just be like a defacement of like actual history? <laughs> Oh, I can never really get into older stuff. The animation always looks so choppy. You know, unlike this game. <laughs> Ring got me the bottle. I had to I had Liz's- I laid Liz's head back to the fighting game sex. That was a confusing sentence. <laughs> it's surprising that Damien and Buster are still playing. This time, both of their hands slamming furiously at the controls. Damien looks pissed. <laughs> a crowd- a crowd is even forming around the duo, exchanging loud whispers as they watch the old CRT screen. I pick out Olivia at the front of the crowd and close, and close to the cabinet so she's able to clearly watch. She's hyper-focused to the point that when I switch the bottle in front of her face, she just leans over and keeps watching. <laughs> That's a little rude, Inko. Evil it is, then. I hold the canteen above her muzzle and carefully tip it over until a few drops fall in her face. This is how I flirt. <laughs> her tongue laps along her lips and swipes up the nourishing droplets before glaring at me. <laughs> Hey, why did you just, like, trick me into being cute? <laughs> Here you go, fresh from the latrine. Ha ha ha. It better be vodka. <laughs> she takes the bottle and downs both of it right away before clearing her throat. Thanks. How's Damien's match going? Well, he's getting too aggressive. He is? I cannot tell what's going on at all. There's many flashing lights. Yeah, Buster picked a rushdown character, so Damien picked a zoner to keep Buster at a distance. Problem is, zoners are notoriously bad when it comes to footsies, and even worse with mix-ups, which means that if Buster is able to get into Damien's hurt box, he's gonna get super punished, might even lose the set to a single. Wait a second, I'm human! <laughs> so Damien has to keep his distance. <laughs> you just realized? <laughs> Wait a minute, what am I doing in this dinosaur story? I'm a human! Why does he keep overlapping dialogue? <laughs> it's not looking good for him. I got interrupted. Ah, crap. Olivia and I watch from the sidelines. Over the next few seconds, Buster pulls off an impressive series of moves to crush Damien's character into the ground. Almost like he was waiting for us to get back. <laughs> oh, what an asshole. <laughs> well, you actually knew how to play. Impressive, plebeian. <laughs> Buster jabs an accusing finger my way as though marking me for death! Inko implying that humans can't play fighting games? <laughs> Maybe. You're next, skinny. That's our word! 
Damien's expression carries a hint of disappointment as he steps away from the cabinet, but he quickly pep peps up and resumes his jovial self. <laughs> He's probably forgotten about it already. <laughs> Just me and Olivia left. I nervously step up to the cabinet. I am going to get my ass kicked. <laughs> A plethora of characters in various fighting poses stare back at me, each with their own promise of victory. Please let Inko be the one who accidentally beats him by just jamming buttons. Please. Oh, he can't. Be, yeah, he can't pay attention because he's human. He bought into like that 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 like JPEG that's been saved like 80 times and is unreadable. <laughs> Cheer on to Livia to kick his ass. Okay. Why would I not do that? <laughs> I recall an old saying called Sully had. If we do not know what we're doing, then the opposing team certainly can't anticipate our future actions. <laughs> so just flail around like an idiot. <laughs> It'll confuse the enemy. <laughs> I tap my joy to go over till a large question mark on the middle of the screen is highlighted. The astonishment of the spectators are my visibly nervous opponent. <laughs> He's just picking a random character. <laughs> The game begins and my opponent besides me seems exceptionally calm as he manipulates his controls. Compared to me, try out every button and stick and put the fear of what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> he is button mashing. <laughs> Unlike Damien, who at least looked like he was holding his own against the bloated buster. I was getting the digital crap kicked out of me. Every attempt I made was met by my character being grabbed and thrown in some ridiculously elaborate way. By the time perfect announcement plays on the screen, I can feel my wrist cramping for the crazy amount of button mashing I'd done under a, under a minute. Good job, Inko. GG. <laughs> yeah, American military doctrine to say they won't see us coming if they don't know what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> At least I lasted a little longer than Liz. Don't feel too bad. I am the best here after all. <laughs> You're about to get some humble pie, I think, there, pal. My girlfriend's gonna kick your ass. Yeah. You may have beaten me, but my girlfriend is gonna beat you up! <laughs> and start filled laughter grates my ears as I walk back to my friends, all of them staring daggers at the pasty scaled dino. The rest of the crowd are in uproar with him, and I can feel my ears heat up for heat up at the attention. Olivia's eyes are narrowed as she wheels herself into position, her tail lashing roughly against the ground as she waits for the laughter to die down and her turn to finally begin. End him, Olivia! <laughs> Buster chuckles to himself while cracking his knuckles. I just finished wiping the floor with your friends while hardly breaking a sweat. I often sweat when playing video games because I am very obese. Just so you know, who, just so you know who you're really dealing with, I'm Buster O'Nuts, achiever of octaves of the annual Jurassic Wisconsin E tournament, the monitor of a carrier, second best player of the 2007 to 2012, and co leader of the Midwestern branch of the Mighty Mammoth Gamer Guild. <laughs> I think I picked the right voice. <laughs> Again, you would look bad for ducking out. <laughs> look at my credentials. I, you know, I won in Wisconsin. That's something people definitely brag about. <laughs> this man's some axe body spray. Do dragons count as gators? Or do dragons count as dinosaurs? Yeah, right. Musk is back on the menu. <laughs> oh, God. He is very punchable. You would probably hurt your hand punching him, though, because he's an ankylosaur, so... Are you ready to get busted? Oh man, that couldn't even sounded cool in your head. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You're fat. <laughs> Olivia, you got to call people fat! <laughs> you know, you're kind of chunky yourself, Olivia. I wouldn't talk, but at least you have chunk in all the right places. <laughs> you do. Know, you can still back out of this. Olivia's response is to insert her coins slowly without breaking eye contact with Buster. <laughs> with what I can only describe as a predatory leer. She then slams her fist on a start button. <laughs> you go, girl! <laughs> Buster instantly moves his cursor toward a different character. Damien next to me lets out a soft gasp. Gasp! What? What's wrong? Buster's character is like three kinds of bullshit is what's wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, for one thing, he's usually a gentleman's band, and he's usually a gentleman's band in tyrannies, and... Oh, God, it's, I'm getting flashbacks to the fucking Smash Brothers dirty kids. <laughs> His mouth is moving, but all that comes out of it is alien words. That's not unusual for Damien, but it's, it's extra alien today. <laughs> Buster lets out a chuckle and turns to look at Olivia, giving her a smug grin. She's jumping her wheelchair? Yes. 
She she does that sometimes in the sprites. I don't think it's literal, but it'd be pretty funny if it was. <laughs> Olivia doesn't seem at all phased by Buster's character choice, clicking her joystick lazily. She's played it cool. As soon as Olivia picks her character, the game's announcer blares the name aloud. Bloody Long! Damien turns to look at me, the excitement in his face overbearing. I have no idea what's going on. That's Olivia's mane! Oh man, this will be one hell of a fight if Olivia's breaking her out. Uh, so, is this Wadi Long a good character? Is she basically Chun-Li is what you're saying, probably? This seems to be Street Fighter. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Street Fighter. You had a melee cut tournament last night? <laughs> you're a melee tourney kid. Ah, take that, Kaiser. <laughs> You joke about Olivia having a huge ass, however. <laughs> Jordan's explanation, I'll, you'll understand, is yes. <laughs> What's the long one? You don't know what a Shoto is. It'll take too long to explain, Hair. <laughs> bah! Curses! While well, Damien rambles on, I recall Olivia's motivation just to get here. That look she had. And that more than anything piques my curiosity. And a few other things. <laughs> so, uh, how good is Olivia with her? I'm talking very loudly. Damon's reply is only give me a wide, big grin and a thumbs up. It's his signature. Oh, you'll say. A loud sound bite from the cabin speaker signaled the start of Olivia's match. Given the way Damien spoke of Olivia's skills like it was derived from an ancient scroll, I expected it to be a flurry of pixelated beatdowns and tactful controller play. But instead, it looks like... Nothing at all. I thought it was going to look like a fucking massacre. <laughs> Join, I see a gator in a wheelchair, and one long neck gator, and another gator, and a gamer who needs to touch grass. I'm interested. Hello, Jerome. Welcome. This is Iwani Hug That Gator. Oh, man, the character's name is Wani Long. God fucking damn it. <laughs> like Shenlong from Bloody Roar? Maybe. This seems to be like every fighting game. So this is a, this is a visual novel, Jerome, where we, uh, we are a human man in dinosaur school, and we're romancing a gator girl. That is the only explanation you're getting right now. <laughs> and I do funny voices. <laughs> On the large display, both characters are just shifting back and forth, the joysticks on Olivia's and Buster's hands clacking about furiously. Honestly, it looks like more more like they're attempting to make their digital avatars tap dance. Ow! What, did I miss something? <laughs> I don't want to turn my eyes away in case anything happens, but I don't understand what's going on. Now, like, they're trying to get a read on each other. It's like, how new? Uh. It's like they're trying to predict what the other will do so they can counter and steal a match. Oh. So they're like shiz- What? There's a heavy crack and thump on the floor in front of me. Olivia's tail lashed at the base of the cabinet while Buster's th- Thagomizer? <laughs> and manages are cracked into the concrete floor behind him. I guess that's what his tail is called. Nerds wrote this. I cannot pronounce dinosaur words. What am I doing in dinosaur land? <laughs> on the screen, the characters finally made contact and sent to each other flying in opposite directions. It's just like Smash. Behind me, the crowd started cheering, finally excited to see there was some actual action happening. Damien is hollering next to me, cheering on Olivia with all his might. Oh, new screen! Oh, the excitement dies down again as the duo resume their cyber posturing. Oh, look at Damien giving thumbs up back there. <laughs> My eyes darted between Olivia and Buster. Olivia is completely absorbed in the match. Her eyes are wide and full of killing intent. <laughs> Buster, on the other hand, seems like he can barely contain his fury. Ten seconds on the clock, Olivia comes in clutch, punishing Buster's character with an impressive streak of attacks. He manages to get away with a single pixel of health just as the time limit runs out. Winner! Wani -E Long! That wasn't the voice I did before, whatever. S Street Fighter. <laughs> the crowd goes nuts as Olivia's victory is announced. And you know what? I can't help but cheer along with them. Yeah, color palette. Holy Gator has a very, very. She's a Brachiosaur, that's why she's a lug neck. Dinosaurs. Olivia slumps back in her mobile seat and lets out a sigh before returning to her original position. Buster lets out a snort, twists, and stretches the neck and cracks his knuckles before again gripping the controllers tight. Round two! Clash and trash! I can't keep a consistent voice for the game announcer. <laughs> switch my Hadman voice, I'll switch my Alistair voice. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that next time. The crowd returns to more silent state, observing the match closely. Only alone barbers as I gawk at the two highly skilled players. The words pass around reach me, attempting to draw my eyes away. Weird for him. Surprised he's not doing the... Is he playing with her? Come on, Olivia! <laughs> Damien shot above the rest of them nearly blew my eardrums, but I... It's like listening to one of Sai's streams. But I shared his sentiment as the stylized characters exchanged simple blows. 
That timer continues to tick down. Buster once again putting on the defensive. With how all the previous bouts went, Buster had control with a cutthroat level of offense. But I can't think of him being this passive. The countdown once again hit zero. This time with Olivia's character slouching in defeat and the crowd cheering again. Though less enthusiastically than before. Oh my god, it's going to be best of three. You got this, Olivia. Just one more win and you're the champ again. Olivia's shoulders tense up for what he said. And all eyes are directly on her. Damien! Come on, Hot Wheels! Show them why you're the best! <laughs> Aw, Damien's trying to cheer, cheer her up in his, in his way. Let's see, a thogomizer is the official term for spiky or clubby dinosaur tails. Huh. I learned something today. I decided to take a drink of water. <laughs> Pooh hopping! <laughs> she groans a bit and refocuses on the screen. A group simmers down to silence and anticipation of the start of the final match. The sudden silence actually catches me off guard for a second. Long enough for my own doubts to catch up to me. Buster's play style. It's like he's not really trying. You sure? <laughs> the match starts and the hype flares right back up. It's stupid of me to even think. He's a game broke champion type. He's got way too much to lose. He was a champion of Wisconsin, for God's sakes. And yet, dot, dot, dot. I'm being paranoid. Hey, Damien. Yeah? Do you notice anything off about how Buster's playing? Except I don't even understand this game, and I think I know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I am Inko. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. You notice it too? Really? You? you don't, you're not even familiar with this, Inko. I'm pretty sure you don't even play anything besides, like, Facebook games. <laughs> Guess I'm not just paranoid then. Like, I didn't really watch your match, but he was always so... Passive? No. Like, these two are crazy good, so maybe this is all in all mind games. As if he's going to throw the game and let her win. When he glanced back at the ongoing battle having a screen, I take notice of Buster's head movements. As Olivia launches her character a furious combo, sure enough, Buster hesitates just enough to let his fighter get hit by the first blow. Is he flirting with her? Is he trying to take my girl? That's brilliant timing. This is crazy. Huh? That hits me all at once like a freight train. The way Buster was looking down at Olivia, how he didn't want to take her challenge, all the excuses he was given. He's a virgin! <laughs> How did you... I mean, probably, but how did you come to this conclusion? <laughs> his, camera, his cameraman skills, he takes in details, yeah. So he's, yeah, as if you're not Inko? Come on, bro. Like, you sit in your house all day eating expired food while your parents ignore you, and I'm pretty sure they don't even exist. <laughs> yeah, it takes one to know what Inko... But also, he's throwing the whole match, isn't he? Damn it. Even here, Olivia was right. Damien, I think he's taking it easy on her. You think so? Damien takes a moment to ponder what I said. Dang. Even here. That's what I was thinking. Did we do something? What? Interrupt the match? Everyone's having fun. Crowd whoops again. Oh, they know. It sounds a bit different. Hollow. Mocking. I think that's all in my head, though. Damien's frail sag with concern. He turns to me. We came here for a good time. I came here for a good time, and I'm feeling so attacked right now. She can't tell. What's the harm? I can see... Okay, I can see how this is a hard choice, because they're setting it up to make you do the opposite of what is the best for the game. Yeah, Hayes is here. Hayes is here is the one holding my hand. And, and and leading me through the game to get the best ending, because I'm only intending to play once. <laughs> also, as I have said before, when I play a game, we are all the main character. Everybody, chat, me, we're all in co, so it's fine. <laughs> Whatever's more fun. <laughs> Jace! You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I hate that he's right. Ignorance is bless! I could stand up for her. I mean... Just being here for Olivia when Mia was getting on her was pretty alright. I'm, I'm at my best when I just shut up and stand here as a rock. <laughs> but that was a while ago. Like, you know, two days ago. <laughs> so I just don't know. <laughs> You're an Inko hive mind. We're all, we're all in Inko's head. This is why it takes him so long to think. <laughs> I look over the crowd again. The match is about halfway done, judging by the remaining health pools. Can we slap her own bald head? Yeah. Oh, you're right! This is basically Dave and Buster's. I, w I was... Well, 
No, it would only be Dave and Buster's if there was also a restaurant. This is more like a... This is more like a really old school arcade that you would see in the 80s and 90s. Like, this kind of shit existed before Dave and Buster's. Anyway, we're gonna cheer her on. We're gonna cheer her on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Nope, everyone's telling me that cheering her on is the best thing to do. So, we're gonna do it. They've been screaming about it <laughs> in the chat. We're going to Dave and Buster's. <laughs> I, I, for all I know, Chad is leading me in the wrong direction, but, you know, I'm gonna trust you guys. I know Olivia normally doesn't like this from strangers, but I'm no stranger! <laughs> she knows my intentions, does she? She seems to misunderstand me often because I am a very awkward man. <sighs> Yo, oh, Buster and Dave, god fucking damn it. <laughs> I didn't put it together because his name is Buster. Let's see. We're friends! That's great. It looks like that characters are about to strike one another with their fate. I cut my heads around my mouth. Go, Olivia! You got this! I'm a good boyfriend! David recoils from my screen. It was probably even more awkward than I was doing it. Or maybe I popped his eardrum, jumping by the glare when he levels at me. Then he raises two fingers to his mouth. I can't whistle in real life, so... Whee! Heck yeah, you got this! Yeah, you know, Liz tries to join in, shouting down the crowd with her own chairs. Oh, you know what would be cool? You can do this, Hot Wheels! Yeah, go, Hot Wheels, go! Olivia flinches and turns her head to look back at us a bit. Curiously, so does her opponent. She sees us cheering as she gets her usual disfavoring fur and brow. Oh no, we fucked it all up! We fucked it all up! <laughs> No oh, way, I'm sticking to my guns. Fuck you, Olivia. I do what I want. As on the screen, Hot Wheels, he's gonna get you. Bait him without even looking. We know you can. She stares right through the crowd at me. It's only an instant, but it feels longer. Our pupils lock, but her subtle scowl cracks. And then it completely folds into a smirk back at us. She faces back to the screen with renewed vigor. Buster shakes his head to snap himself out of his own slog. Looks like he was only intending to lose by a little. He's picking up the pace now. Nah. Oh, if you've encouraged him. Hang on a second. Sorry, my doggy was bothering me. <laughs> she doesn't like when I talk to the invisible people. <laughs> only. Time! Oh, I was supposed to do Alistair voice. Whatever. <laughs> The match comes, time's out! Ah, dang. Wanna go another round? People need a winner. I'm actually gonna beat you this time. Actually, mind if I run up to the restroom real fast? I'm going to puke from all that attention. Shit, yeah, it's a, it's a donut wee. Look at the turret that smiles at me again. It's warm. And she goes off to the restroom. Buster waits for her to be out of earshot and scrabbles over to Damien and I. Hey, you two. You guys weren't serious, right? Huh? You were saying Hot Wheels? That's not really her, right? She's legend in these parts! You know any other green gator girls in a wheelchair who came to this arcade? I mean, <laughs> it's not that hard to piece together. The Hot Wheels from a decade ago? Oh, were you that little chubby kid we used to pick on? Oh, I remember that. <laughs> Yep, that's her. Why? Damn, I feel like a jackass now. You were throwing it for her, weren't you? A little. She's a cute girl, and I don't get very close to girls. <laughs> Your buddy, Finhead, gave me some sob story about her during our match, and I felt bad, okay? Damien! <laughs> oh, see, this is why I talk to chat in my voice and not Inko's voice, so Inko's just got a dial tone while I'm talking to you guys, I guess. Yeah, Inko sends a non-asks to himself. That's him talking to himself. <laughs> he wants to be known as the asshole that picks on cripples. <laughs> Maybe don't be the asshole who says cripple. <laughs> oh, is, it, is this Dave? Who should Dave be? Okay, I could do the neckbeard voice for Dave, but I don't know what he's like yet. <laughs> 
Let us do the neckbeard voice for now. Oh, best you is being hospitable to the young lady. To Pen Shapiro. Who the fuck shut the... He doesn't have a spite. You buster, you simping! Piss off! But yeah, I didn't mean any disrespect or anything. I thought another character was going to be introduced. That's why I panicked and asked about voices. <laughs> Crap. I didn't know she had a history here. I should have more respect than that. Yes, you should, sir. Besides. What do you do now? I'll play for real. It's what she deserves. That's all we ask. Aw, that was sweet. Buster nods and turns with a thumbs up like he was trying to do a nice thing, but it was kind of a bad thing at the same time, and now we've kind of got him to do a real nice thing, and, you know, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good time. Yeah, Olivia does not want other people to, like, give her an advantage because she's in a wheelchair. That it drives her crazy and, like, her main point of low self-esteem. So. Holy shit, it's almost 9 o'clock already. <laughs> we'll probably go for another hour. I usually do three hours on these, so... He cracks his knuckles and neck in preparation for his first legitimate match of the day. You're still kind of simping, though. Shut the hell up, Dave! You just sound like me, but more Nick Beauty. Olivia returns, sliding up to the machines once more. Thanks for waiting. No problem, ready? You know it. Good, because you're going down this time. I'm getting serious. They give each other one last competitive layer before putting all their focus on the screen. Yes, just before Buster chooses the OP character and Olivia picks Waddy Long. As soon as the end game announced Uriel's fight, Buster immediately goes in for the kill, the total opposite of how he was playing last match. It catches Olivia off guard for a moment, leading her character to eat a massive combo that takes away a good chunk of her health. True to his word, he isn't holding back this time for Olivia's sake, dealing her the same level of a beatdown brutality as he gave the opponents before her. This seems like only invigorate her, putting her skills and hands into overdrive. Even though Buster is going at full force, Olivia still manages to get Waddy along to land a few punches and kicks, along with evading some attacks. The crowd seems to notice the reappearance of Buster's lethality, causing an uproar of cheering and whoops. Damien, of course, follows suit. You got this, Hot Wheels, King of Zays! <laughs> yeah, let him be the only one, right? Show him why you're the champ! Unfortunately, not even Olivia can beat Buster's true fighting skills, and like his previous opponents... <laughs> K.O. Bold wins! So, Kobold? <laughs> the crowd has a mix of groans and cheers and excitement at the ill-fated defeat of Olivia. Buster crosses his arm, basking in self pride at beating the legendary Hot Wheels. Damn, he really handed me my ass. <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't I say I was kind of a big deal around here? Yeah, yeah. Though I've got to admit, you gave me a real challenge. I see why you were known as the chimp. Thanks. If you're ever up for a rematch, you know where to find me. I am here all the time. I have no life. <laughs> With that, Olivia makes her way over to us, a smile beaming across her face. All right, who's next? We exit the crowd into a more spacious part of the arcade. That was awesome, Liv! You really gave him a run for his money! I know, right? I mean, I know I'm a bit rusty, but the moment I got my hands on the controls and he gave me a real fight, I was so close to beating him! Despite having been outmatched and losing the Buster, she seems to be having even more fun than ever. I'm feeling all jittery after that fight. I'm full of adrenaline. I just want to bite something. <laughs> yeah, Ankle has a per per perfectly good personality. The prescription shades. He must always wear sunglasses. The game has established this. It's, it's in the lore. Ankle, I'm trying to catch up with Chad. <laughs> There's another human with hair. No, it's just Inka who looks like this. Don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm an NPC character. I live in this arcade. Literally, the devs won't leave, give me a home. <laughs> That's the gamer rush settling in you. We're gamers. Hey, you know they sell food here, right? <laughs> we should get some snacks and celebrate. I guess it is Dave and Buster's. <laughs> they got a restaurant. <laughs> With some adequate burgers. Well, I was smelling grease. I was just assuming it was the nerds. <laughs> he takes his own order and starts marching down to another direction. Damien, wait for the rest of us! Food, huh? You know what? I could go for a little something. A little something sun, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's getting pretty late. Come on, they went this way. Wee! <laughs> Olivia starts plowing through the crowd once more. Oh boy, this again. It'll be, I'll call it exercise, which I never get normally. Dot, dot, dot. 
Okay, so it's not really a Dave and Buster's. This looks like a shitty little bodega inside like a mall or something. <laughs> so, yeah. Not really Dave and Buster's. <laughs> the snack bar is a small cutaway for the rest of the building, segregated by a different style tiling and brighter fluorescent lighting. There's not a lot of options aside from what you'd expect. Pizza, ice cream, chicken strips, pickles, and the like. I need some chicken tendies. <laughs> when Damien asked for two slices of pizza, Liz got excited. A moment he got the food, however, he was already eating one while holding the other. <laughs> she seemed really annoyed, but took his offer to let him pay for her food. <laughs> is this your man? Is this your man, Liz? <laughs> he offered to pay for Olivia myself, but the last thing I want him to do is drain his wallet any further, knowing their living situation. <laughs> it's a rotting co I sell weed on the side. I got plenty of cash. <laughs> it's barely over 10 bucks, so it's not like it bothers me. Olivia had gotten an order of chicken wings slathered in hot sauce. Awesome. She just, she's even more attractive now. I just went with, with the classic chicken strips. Ah, I got my chicken tendies! And <laughs> one of the sodas I recognize with a school vending machine. We take a seat at one of the few open tables and I struggle as I think about how often they're clicked. <laughs> Go getting, this is not real food. This is like cardboard pizza at an arcade. He still hasn't eaten any real food. <laughs> Damien doesn't bother sitting with us. He just heads right back to the fray with both arms occupied by his dinner. He's gonna get his greasy pizza hands all over the arcade cabinets. <laughs> Liz follows after Damien to keep track of him. At least her head does. She needs to babysit her man. Olivia barely even sets her tray down before. Crunch, 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 crunch. I suddenly shift myself away from the maelstrom of Mullers and Claws. Damien probably said he'd cover the meal because he knew Olivia would get like this. <laughs> Jeez, Hot Wheels, would you like some actual meat on that? I didn't even know how wing bones could get that big. Olivia responds by snapping the bone in two between her teeth. The marrow squirts out a little and she has to get a napkin to wipe her cheek. Totally, my own chicken tender meal looks even more unsavory, so I push it aside. <laughs> and closer to the tooth tornado. I'm just gonna feed her nuggies. It only takes moments for her to accept my offer with no manners whatsoever. <laughs> and cool, eat some actual food shortly, okay? <laughs> Ah, thank you. No accident. Oh. After we finish, any other plans? Olivia ponders my words while rolling a bone around in her mouth like it's a lollipop stick. She's so cute. It's just a chicken bone, Inko. Oddly large chicken bone in her mouth. Ugh. I don't know. I've basically been done. I've basically done all I want to do by now. Like, I'm done with life now. <laughs> I've done everything. Damien's probably got another 20 minutes before he burns out, you know, his ADHD and all. I'm cool to hang out here unless you want to do something. No, I actually don't play games that much. I had fun playing with you, though. I'd like to play with you, Olivia. Olivia looks away for some reason. <laughs> we should do this sort of thing more often. Yeah? Of course. I've never had this much fun outside of my previous schools, mainly because I never had many friends to hang out with. Why did I admit that out loud? <laughs> That's... Kinda sad. Wow, I mean, I feel kind of bad for you now. <laughs> it is. It's very sad, Olivia. I'm so lonely. But it looks like moving here was a change for the better. She has to go find a kid named Steven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's just fun hanging out with you. Though stained with sauce, Olivia's lips curled into a smile. It kind of looks like blood. I'm scaroused. And Liz and Damien too, of course. But mostly you. But mostly you. Though I have to admit, with the way Liz gravitates toward Damien, it's almost like she has she had this all set up. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder, Inko. I wonder if she had this all planned. The studious planner friend. I wonder if she had this all planned. What do you mean? Well, Damien and Liz are pretty close, so maybe she's using this as an opportunity to get them closer. It's almost like we're on a double date or something. <laughs> a little slow in the uptake there, Inko. <laughs> A little slow on the uptake. She jerks back to me, completely attentive. Did I say something? Oh, she didn't know either. We're, we're both completely hopeless. We're both completely hopeless, everybody. Really? Yeah, it's kind of funny. Imagine me being on a double date with you. That's hilarious, Olivia. It would never happen. Since we hang out together pretty often, people might start thinking we're together. Oh my god, this man. He's so blunt about everything. <laughs> Something whips into my back! Did you just- did you just slap my butt with your tail? <laughs> ah! Olivia grabs hold of her tail. Crap, crap, sorry, sorry. I just, uh, 
You look so slappable right now. <laughs> yeah, I slipped. Had fun today. Going out like this for the first time in ages, seeing this place again? It's nice. Smelling the gamer musk, you know, it's very nostalgic. <laughs> that buster guy said they renovated it a bit in the last few years. Has anything else changed? Hmm. Olivia looks into the depths of the arcade if you're looking for anything different. You know what? I think the wallpaper's changed. Definitely not the rug, though. It's it's caked in, like, 30 years of dirt. <laughs> but other than that... She turns back to me with a nostalgic grin. No, it stayed the same. You know what has changed, though? What? The people here. What, like the employees? I mean, that's normal, Olivia. Them too, but I mean the regulars. When we came here, the place was always more... Her tongue probes her cheek as she considers different words. More hectic? No, more packed. It was so easy getting through here today. I recall her almost running people over to get across the building. How the Does this place have a fire code? <laughs> and with that look she had back then, I don't think she had noticed what she had. Olivia's gaze lingers back to the arcade machines. Back then, every machine was crowded. It was a lot louder. And there was always this, you know, though, if this is 2023, it's pretty impressive that a place like this even exists, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> the carpet is so old, they can't get it off. Yes, you are correct. It's just fused with the bare floor at this point, and they've given up. <laughs> Something in the air that had everyone excited. More gamer musk. What about when you and that guy were playing Jurassic? Kick? Okay, yeah, it was like that. But way more. Like, it felt like every machine had a crowd around it. Everyone was just getting crazy. And it was like, always a pain to wait your turn. With the heaviest of sighs, Olivia turns back toward me. Just feels empty. Like everything else th these days. Like my soul. Feels empty like my soul, Inko. I mean, empty is good. Like the inside of my head. <laughs> you were able to get around easily. <laughs> Inko is very charming. I can't accept any other OP, like player character but him now. Her kids were the original Twitch. Oh fuck me! You're not wrong. <laughs> Near hit and miss runs, notwithstanding. And partially, this place feels crazy to me. I'm a very boring person. This is this is the most excitement I've had in my entire life. Even here at the tiny food court, I can feel the rumbling loudness of all the people here resonate through my body. Her only response was a non-committal hum. She does that a lot. Olivia handles her flask carefully, staring down at the sticker I noticed earlier with a wistful look. I remember that Liz mentioned about it being from some old show she watched. Is that a Steven Universe sticker? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> no, she said the 90s. Okay. <laughs> Maybe in this universe, Steven Universe came out in the 90s. <laughs> hey, I noticed that sticker when I went to refill it. What's it from? Oh, that. It's from some old anime I remember watching growing up. It's nothing really special. From some anime, huh? You mean that Japanese animation, yes? Huh, what's it about? You wanna know? I got even more uwu for this one, talking about animu. Uwu. Sure, I never really caught on to the whole anime stuff or anything, really. I don't even watch television or listen to music. I just stare at the wall all day, waiting for my parents who never come home. But I'd like to know what it's about. Is it Gundam? Is it Gundam? I was gonna see if I'll catch on to what it is. Inko is like the most normie normie. Like, Jesus. I've unlocked cute Olivia. Is she gonna look like this for the rest of the game? <laughs> well, if you really do want to know, it's not like any other anime. It's like totally special. It's called Gundam, and I didn't capitalize it for some reason, though. <laughs> For the next five minutes, Olivia tries to summarize the premise of Gundam in detail. Now, I need to know, is she talking about every iteration of the series, or just one of them? Is she talking about Gundam Wing only, because it was on Toonami? <laughs> I need to know! I need to know! Does she kin Duo Maxwell? <laughs> Given that I am as clueless in as I was with the fighting terminology, the plot sounds completely esoteric. Were they also- were there also pop stars? Wait, no, I, I think that's Macross. <laughs> the sticker is a symbol worn by the faction of space noids fighting for their independence. Sounds like a, just a noble group with a goal like that. Watching her talk so passionately about the series. Franchise? Oh, 
Oh, that's a lot. She's, she's sparking out. Look at her. She's sparking out. For how long? That's the alternate universe stuff? Oh, and there's this martial arts one? As she continues the description of the franchise, I start to realize how enamored I've become. She is so adorable. I guess she is info dumping about every single iteration of Gundam. She is that kind of weeb. <laughs> I am not that familiar with Gundam myself. <laughs> I made the Gundam wing crack because that's the only one I'm familiar with. <laughs> Not just about hearing the show, but about seeing Olivia talk about her favorite show with such a passionate energy. Yes, people seem to love to come hear someone talk with passion about any topic on, on the YouTube. I find myself engrossed in her voice as she recounts the particular version of the anime, as if she's taken to emulating segments from the show. She's acting them out. She's so dirty. I love her. And in the end, he finally admits it, and it's one of the best romances Gundam's done. And, uh, and I wrote a fan fiction about duo and hero, and you know, fuck, fuck, what's her butt? <laughs> The girl everybody hated. <laughs> Relena, I think that was it. <laughs> yeah. Her sudden pause worries me. She realized she was sparking. She realized she was sparking. Inko watched Breaking Bad. Maybe Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> Inko probably just watches like reality TV shows, if anything. What's wrong? Nothing. You actually listened to me. Wow, I think I'm in love. No, it's not like nothing. Rather, given the roughness of her tone again, her throat finally ran dry. You need another refill? I'm good. Glug, 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 glug. She drinks cheaply from the canteen that she had st st started this all off. Blah, blah, blah. If she, it's been a while since she talked to herself dry like that. In fact, I can't recall the last time she's desperately needed to hydrate like that. She doesn't, she doesn't talk so much that her throat just, like, gives out. <laughs> You think she wrote and drew herself into her favorite anime? She absolutely does. There's, there's, fuck, what's her butt? Yeah. Damn it, you're gonna clip that, aren't you? It goes to Disney Kid. Yeah, you watch like live action Disney sitcoms. The only shows you've seen. Your favorite moment coming up? Okay. I think maybe around the start of the school year. She releases the canteen and takes a breath of relief out. Better? Olivia nods. Yeah, anyway, I, where did I leave? I gotta tell you the whole story. Can't stop me. Actually, I've probably been babbling on too long about it. I, I relate to that, Olivia. I'm taking some water myself. <laughs> no, no, I don't mind at all. I just love hearing you talk. That's fine. Besides, you let me talk about my favorite show, so tell me about yours. Dial tone in his head. Mine? Hmm, what is the last television show I have I have watched? Well, I haven't finished anything, just mostly video essays about old shit. Uh, I will admit I did watch video essays of Breaking Bad before actually watching the show, so I, I have no fucking room to talk here. <laughs> if anyone listens to you explaining the whole lore of something, they're a keeper. That is that is true. That is absolutely true. I'm told I can call myself a fan of video games without having played them, but does that apply to TV? <laughs> no! I've met a few people who, like, get into a franchise through, like, the fan fiction without ever watching the original show, and I do not understand that. <laughs> I just really don't. <laughs> well, yeah, see, there's a show about a Disney princess in hell. I'm really into it. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure has taste. She can tell me exactly what kind of show she likes and why she likes it. I have no interests. <laughs> I just know bits of trivia. I'm a very, very incurious person. No, that can't be right. I've seen lots of things in passing. Um, like... Um... Uh... The... Uh, well, shoot. I have no swag. This is, like, not even no swag. You have no life. <laughs> You have no hobbies or interests besides taking shitty sunset photos. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a show called Breaking Bad. It is about a man taking back control of his life and becoming a badass. <laughs> I understood it completely. Oh, you're a big Tekken fan. I only played like one through three. And see, I played lots of fighting games when I was a kid, but then I started getting more into like story driven games when games started to have stories. Some people are huge fans of FF7 and have never played. I was actually watching my friend play FF7 earlier today. We got to Cosmo Canyon today. <laughs> he was just streaming for me over Discord. But I don't have a PlayStation, so I, he, I just watch him play FF7. 
<laughs> We've been very impressed by it so far, even with the changes. We, we both still like it, so. I guess I've spent more time watching in-depth video essays about shows than actually watching them. I am such a tech bro. Man, that's embarrassing. Oh, no, it's not. Well, it's a little bit. A little, little bit. But in, in, okay, yeah, but in a charming way, Inko. Kind of. But it's never too late to get into it. Unless humans really do have, like, five-second attention spans, and I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do. <laughs> we'll have to strap you down Clockwork Orange style. <laughs> Next time you're over at my place, we can binge-watch a whole anime series. Oh my god, a girl invited me over to watch anime! I'm in! <laughs> oh yeah, my, my friend's husband was getting Dragon's Dogma too. He's very excited about it. I like the shot of that. But if it ever gets too intense, you can always watch Power Raptors with Vinny. <laughs> Hi. Ah, relax. Toku shows like that aren't just for kids to like. It's funny, though. I remember my dad letting me watch it as a kid, and Vinny got into it because I showed him. You don't mind me asking. Who mentions that your dad's in, in, in out of topic as a job? Why is that exactly? Oh, my parents never... My parents never introduced me to anything. They never actually even talk to me. They don't look at me. They tell me I'm a failure. <laughs> and that they don't love me. And they leave me month-old breakfast burritos in the freezer just to make sure of the bare minimum that I stay alive. <laughs> Olivia, did you know what the blue thing in Breaking Bad was? <laughs> Olivia and Inker are both keepers and yeah, their own ways. <laughs> He's on contract with the DOD. Wow, really? I don't know what that is. <laughs> yep, been working with the Air Force since I was a baby. Normally, he isn't called that often, but when he does, it's pretty lengthy. Weeks. Even months. Well, that's why I'm abandoned by my father, okay. They named me incognito, Olivia! My parents never loved me! <laughs> dad is- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom might be dead. I had her, like, she has a situation with her dad, but she didn't really elaborate. I must suck. I must suck never seeing your parents. I would not know what that's like. I- I still convince myself that mine exist. It isn't all too bad. We still see each other and send messages. The work just keeps him busy. Well, that's good. Keeping in touch with your folks is important. Why do I feel so sad now? <laughs> what about your parents? What's their job? He's gonna get one of those, like, those scenes from FF7 where Cloud's memories get contradicted in his head and there's, like, a high-pitched buzzing noise. <laughs> Don't ask me about that, Olivia. Oh, mine are joint partners. It's an architect. An architect. <laughs> just architect. Not architecture! Not that they are architects, but they're joint partners in architect. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> You're kind of surprised I have this kind of body, Olivia. It's tr true. This is not muscle, this is growths of some kind. <laughs> Sorry, we move around a lot. The main reason why we're here in Volcardaria to begin with. Ah, uh, now it all makes sense, except it doesn't. <laughs> what does? You know, the, just the you of everything. He points at my shades and jacket. Having on a jacket and shades doesn't automatically make me rich, Olivia. Dude, who else wears clothes from Abercrombie and Flint and has extra pairs of Ray A band sunglasses on them? If we really call them Ray A bands. <laughs> Don't be racist, my parents are buildings! <laughs> I'm secretly Walter Sullivan, my mother is an apartment! <laughs> If you get that, you're cool. <laughs> if you didn't get that, you're very confused right now. <laughs> People in mansions, that too. I don't live in a mansion, I live in a shitty little beach house. If your information's a two-story complex with an automatic gate and... Oh. Oh, fuck, I'm rich. I'm rich and neglected. This is why he never worries about money. He just didn't realize... Inko, you have like you have like a, a credit card with like a ten thousand dollar limit on it, Inko. How did you not know you're rich? <laughs> Olivia, did I buy this? They what do you mean I buy this? They were this is I was born with sunglasses on, Olivia. His parents are two or three two of the three people in the trench coat. <laughs> that form an architect. Yes. <laughs> yes. His his parents are Vincent Adult Man. <laughs> yeah, Bojack reference. <laughs> I see what you mean. Now you get it, money bags. Should have a monocle then. Suddenly, Liz starts waving her hands around excitedly. What the? Inko, Olivia, squee! 
Damien comes rushing in, both arms filled with a pile of tickets. And he's pog champing! Whoa, mama, that's a lot of tickets. Maybe I should have been Johnny Bravo. Whoa, mama. The other end is still trailing behind him. Damien got the jackpot of the Megalop Millionaire! This is probably like a thousand tickets. I didn't even bother counting. I'm gonna go see what gets in the prize quarter. Come on, probably like a, like a little tiny shitty toy, probably. <laughs> you know, you know how those old arcades were. Holy crap! All right, yeah, you're done eating, Olivia. I think you ate part of the table in your in your melee. <laughs> she takes the basket of chicken strips and pushes them back for the table. Yeah, Manu, you actually eat some food, Inko, for God's sakes. Thank you, thank you for complimenting my my voice acting. It's it's very professional. <laughs> I roll my eyes and fall behind Damien to the prize counter. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is this is bringing back a lot of memories right now. <laughs> he plops his wedding satchel on the counter in front of an, un, an unamused clerk. So what will this get me? Probably something shitty. Nothing. You need to drop those on the ticket counter first. I don't know why I picked this voice. Ah, damn. I nearly forgot. Rushes off to get him counted. I look over the options. There's a few old games up on the top shelf for several thousand. What's the exchange rate supposed to be? Yes, it was always like this in old arcades. You could get like 10 billion tickets and you'd get like a $2 toy. <laughs> Inko is just clueless in general, yeah. Richmond still can't get actual food. He's just... Let's look at Inko's eyes. Yeah, I love when he makes that face. Uh-oh, okay, I'll keep watching his eyes. <laughs> Below me in the glass counter is a bunch of candy and, a small, and small plastic novelties. There's also a lot of joke items like whoopee cushions, air horns, and things like that. In one corner is a series of licensed and generic plush toys hanging. What do you think he'll get? Probably the mini RC car. Why wouldn't he get you a giant teddy bear? What a terrible boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, what will this give me? The gift shop air. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, maybe that plasma globe. He would be fascinated by that for hours, probably. He's going to get a handful of candy and let us have the rest. You think so? It's probably what he always does. All right, I'm back. He has a ticket over the spot. I spot the number 1247 printed on the ticket. Dang, that's enough for one of the plushies on the wall. Get a plushie for your girlfriend, Damien. Let's see. I want... Hey, how about that? He points to a small foosball table on the top shelf. <laughs> that clerk glances up at it and back. That's gonna be like another few thousand. Ah, damn it. Well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Get something for your girlfriend, you fucking tool. <laughs> I guess I'll have some of those then. The clerk gets a small bag of chocolates on the display. You guys can have the rest. <laughs> yep. Foosball. It's like a little. It's like a little mini like soccer field game. <laughs> I don't really need anything here. This is this is all garbage. This is all garbage from the dollar store, Damien. <laughs> Nothing's really speaking to me either. I might want something. Oh yeah, scans the corner. There's still enough tickets for a medium prize. She might be going for a paddle ball or something. Oh, I hope she paddles me with it. Whoa, look at that. A woo. He points to the plushy corner. The, the blue slug thing? No, next to it. There's a weird dark green thing <laughs> hanging in the corner. The only one of its kind. So one of those like fucking weird worm things? <laughs> I kind of want to drop kick it. <laughs> Why does this fill you with such rage, Inko? <laughs> I have never seen our man so angry. I mean, that thing looks kind of shitty, but... But look, but look at Olivia. She's a-wooing about it. <laughs> that one? R really, sis? That one? <laughs> I don't know. Something about it really makes me want to... I don't know, vomit, maybe? <laughs> Tie it to a firework and set it off into a deep fire? That's probably why she wants it. It's it's unique and broken just like me, Damien. I must have it. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. 
High five, Damien! You guys are rude. <laughs> she likes it. Leave her alone. I'm not saying you're wrong, though. He looks like he's the reason we have taxes. <laughs> Stop Hello. Must Be sent a $2 super chat. $2 from Stop Must Be. Crocodile. Oh, I didn't read out the hug one. Crocodile hug. Thank you. Thank you for the $2 super chat. I appreciate it. I hate its face! He thinks he's better than all of us! <laughs> yeah, Olivia's like, It's just like me, for real! I've gotten used to it. It's been here for around for years. It's it's probably covered in mold. And dust. <laughs> Part of it's probably falling apart. Tell it I hate it! You don't really want that, do you, Olivia? It probably has diseases. <laughs> Wow, it's just like me for real, Iro. Is she fucking with us? <laughs> is she fucking with us? Her eyes are bright and wide. She's in love. She has shown more love to that thing than me this entire game. Oh. Yep. The clerk hands her the stuffed toy and she looks deep into its beady eyes. It's like it's like the world's worst uh what are the what were the Something babies. What the fuck were those called? <laughs> I ruined my own jokes. I can't remember what they were called. <laughs> they were really popular for a while, then they weren't. Yep, just like me. So now none of you can criticize it because I'm crippled. <laughs> I'm going to set that thing on fire since I'm going to sneak into your room and I'm going to grab it and put it on the grill. <laughs> as soon as you're not looking, Beanie Babies, thank you. Jesus Christ, why couldn't I remember that? <laughs> It's like the worst Beanie Baby ever. Like, it didn't sell. They had warehouses full of them. They just got shipped off to arcades for pennies. <laughs> Not if you like having both arms. We have to for a reason. The argument continues for several minutes. Guys, it's getting late. I think we need to head out. I'm not allowed to drive after dark. <laughs> ah, shit, she's right. Even though the weekend starts tomorrow, I still have a curfew that my folks are strict about, even though they're never home, and I'm pretty sure they don't exist. <laughs> nice toy, Olivia. Can I drop kick it? Olivia sounds like Ash Ketchum. No! <laughs> it's just because I'm a terrible voice actor. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, I guess you're right. We. On the way out, Damien stops to breathe in deeply. Breathing in that gamer musk. You know, this was a lot of fun. Oh, where you going, Olivia? <laughs> Coming all here together for the first time in a while. Olivia's over there looking at the one thing that's actually hand-drawn. Uh, it does stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> Thanks for taking us, Liz. Oh, it's no problem. It's not like I like you or anything, Baka. <laughs> Thanks to you guys, too! Yeah, man, it, it was fun! We should do this again sometime! I have friends! Look at her slippers? Oh, I missed them. Is it, is it just like you remember it? Even better! I know it was a bit meh about it at first, but I'll admit. I got my little worm thing. I'm very, I'm very happy. <laughs> She's gonna get my mouse cursor. She knows! Oh, just scroll back up. You're right. I can just I can just scroll back in the game. I keep forgetting. No, Olivia, stay there. <laughs> what are what are those? What are those? Is that like what are these bears? Are they bears? What are they, beavers? What are they supposed to be? <laughs> it's pretty great though. I guess she would wear slippers because. She gotta keep gotta keep the blood flow at her feet. Um Let's gotta tell her she can't. Is it pedo bear? God fucking damn it! Is it pedo bear? No! This is a 4chan game though, I really shouldn't be surprised. I thought it was like a nice little Kumo. I suppose Pedo Bear was also a nice little Kumo until the fucking internet ruined it. Back on the car, the argument picks up again! Oh, she's so happy. Maybe this should be the thumbnail. She's so happy with her little plushy plush. I'll have to go find this <laughs> in the game files and make it my my um thumbnail, maybe. Unless it's gonna be Damien pointing back at us. 
If you don't know what pedo bear is, just don't fucking ask, <laughs> okay? It's an old, old, old Chan meme. <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, it was usually to call out predators. So know the name, but it was usually to call out predators, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you should try hiding pencils in its ears until they come out the other side of its head. If anyone hurts him, I'll kill you. Like, literally, I will kill you. <laughs> he stares with a razor intent back at Damien. Okay, let's not get into fratricide over a plush animal. <laughs> Olivia hugs the wretched thing tighter. <laughs> at least put it through the washing machine, Olivia, please. Uh, so Inko... You want me to drop you off at your place? Oh, dang, yes, please. I had no idea how I was going to get home. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> God damn it. I'm ahead of the game again. <laughs> I quickly said, Liz, the address to my house, which she puts into her Google Maps. <laughs> Buckled in, we head out of the parking lot and back into the main road. Entering the freeway, we pass by the city, now illuminated. The early fall sunset bathes the car's interior in warm orange. As we make our way home, I find myself recalling all the spots Olivia had highlighted. Like the overpass, and the the big outlet building, <laughs> and other things you see along the highway. <laughs> I wanted to ask her again, and just so I knew for sure, but seeing her rest peacefully gave me pause. Well, I suppose I can ask her another time. Better look to let sleeping gators lie. That is not a saying, Inko. Wait, lay? The, I want to lay her? Uh, maybe. Let her rest. She had fun, and now she's tired, and that's all that matters. Oh, she got a little tail. I'll, I'll go curled around her. It does look a little bit like a shark now. I thought it was like an axol axolotl or something, or, or a worm. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I know Olivia mentioned that the place was updated, but I'd be lying to myself that it didn't look a bit too grimy. <laughs> I just hope I don't get sick. Is this a chapter in? Hmm. I could end here. I could end here, I could go for another half an hour, and we'd have to find a stopping point. It's shorter? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I try to keep these at three hours, usually. <laughs> Best chapter? Okay. Well, yep, I got sick. I have been completely out the whole weekend, sick like a dog. <laughs> Must have caught it at the arcade. And I think I got a staph infection. <laughs> at first, I was just a slight headache and a stuffy nose. By Sunday, I felt like my bones were made out of paper mache. More so than usual! I couldn't even go to school today! Man, this sucks. I should have ignored the sides. The rapid weather change isn't helping at all either between the pollen and the chills. It's COVID! The worst part is I'm falling out of practice. I've tried on and off every hour to watch a drawing tutorial, but within minutes my consciousness is overtaken by fog and I retreat back to my bed. It's PewDiePie! He's making me feel bad about my artistic talent! At this rate, I'll never actually have the skill people thought I had at the beginning of that contest! Yeah, the loot images aren't even that loot. There's an error coming up. There's a doorbell sound that doesn't sound. Okay. I swear that sunlight obscuring the clouds of my own bounce of unconscious and it feels like I've been sick for weeks instead of just days. I would have asked my parents for some help, but they don't exist. But they still had work. And the most help they could be was simply calling into school to let them know I was sick. Slurp. <laughs> Is he in a fucking Snuggie? Look at this dude. Look at this fucking dude! <laughs> He's in a fucking snuggie. <laughs> yeah, the game's the game's not that expensive though. I'm playing it because um because uh, Kaiser bought it for me. <laughs> so that was something about something about a cup of noodles. Hang on, finish off the cup of medicine I'd made. And go back to my noodles. And the reason I'm even conscious right now is because I figured some soup would help me with the splitting headaches. And I made sure the pantry is stocked full of cup ramen. Yes, yeah, so that's definitely what you should eat when you're sick. Just cup ramen. No protein. <laughs> no anything else. Just fucking ramen. Which has no nutritional value on its own. <laughs> I shovel even more of the instant noodles into my mouth as I lie splayed on the couch watching to watch whatever's on TV. This man. This man's diet. Eventually I decide to set the salty goodness aside and flavor of scrolling through the notifications on my cell phone. Of course, I got a few dozen from Damien. Bless his heart, he's been giving me an hourly play-by-play -play of the school day. <laughs> Stop texting in class, Damien! I got a few messages from Liz, too. She's also filling me in on the school day, albeit not nearly as often as Damien. Even Olivia messaged me, and I feel oddly soothed as I read her well wishes. 
I suddenly got another notification, this time from Ben! I forgot about him! <laughs> it's a PDF of my homework, followed soon by a simple get well soon animated emoji. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. I thought Ben was being a dick before, but that's kind of nice. Aren't I popular? I'm popular! I'll be sure to thank them in person when I'm better. I have my freak squad. I'm definitely popular. <laughs> another way of fuzziness washes over me as I pop a few flu meds and chase it down with another gulp of lukewarm chicken broth. Okay, so he is having at least something besides ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah, this guy's just like, it's not like a bu butter for you because I like you or anything, Baka. Because I baka you or anything look like. <laughs> Three days of being sick of the dog and it's only occurred to me that I haven't seen any sign of... Huh? I thought I already got my grocery delivery today. What was that? Yes, or was that yesterday? Oh, ding dong! Ding dong! Doorbell! Ding dong! There was a doorbell! Whatever, I punched myself up right on the couch, turned sick bed, uncaring for all the styrofoam noodle cups and plastic wrappers that fall into my carpet. Inko! <laughs> you sloppy bitch! Well, I really let things get out of hand! It's only been like three days! <laughs> my head is spinning as I make the arduous 20 foot journey. We live in a big old fancy house. I check that peephole and nothing is there. It's a, it's a fucking, fucking doorbell, doorbell, doorbell ditch. <laughs> and maybe it's a small child. A Tarassi Scout cookie sound. Tarassi, Tarassi Scout. Tarassi Scout cookies, everybody. <laughs> One hand works on do the locks while I'm focusing on finding my wallet with the other. <laughs> He's just assuming. He's just assuming it's someone selling him something. <laughs> Make the delivery man Alistair from Hasbin Hotel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, puppy slaves! If only they weren't so war- Oh, it's Olivia. Sup, you dead yet? Olivia! I can't let you see me like this! What are you doing here? I'm not decent! I don't have my jacket on! In spite of her cheerful greeting, Olivia shifts side to side in her seat and her knees totter together. Uh, Mr. Idekin wanted me to give you the project worksheets for his classes. She pulls her backpack up from behind her chair, reaches in, drawing out a manila envelope and waving it in my face. My dizziness intensifies as my eyes attempt to track the rapid moving in front of them. I'm gonna puke all over you, Olivia. Oh, the one about Baroque? Thanks. I'm pretty sure Ben had just sent me those as a PDF. She snorts and lets the packet go. My head's fumbling to catch it before it hits the floor. Why are you so mean to me? Oh, uh, Batting and I, Olivia pushes past me as if wandering to someone else's house is an everyday occurrence for her. <laughs> Olivia, I have nothing under this blanket! Look away! <laughs> Olivia, I'm naked under here! I haven't showered in days! Come on, the project isn't gonna finish itself! Ah! You can't give me your human diseases, it's fine. <laughs> She's already wheeled herself to my couch and set a backpack on the coffee table. Yeah, I figured you could use some help on it, or... Not like I like you or anything, babaka. And balks at the mountain of junk I've left. I think her nose crinkles, hard to tell from this far away. Damn, Inko, you live like this? <laughs> like, damn, girl. <laughs> My head finally catches up with what's transpired. Olivia's here now, cool. I'm very feverish. <laughs> what isn't... What isn't is the sun... What, is, what isn't is the sudden onset of vertigo. I guess I was standing upright for too long, or maybe I'm just really excited that Olivia's here. All the blood is going somewhere else. <laughs> Ellie managed to stay up this enough to think to the support of the wall. What? Just how sick are you? Do you have to go to the hospital, dude? <laughs> Pretty sick. And not in a good way. The disgust that was on her face is wiped away as she looks at me. Huh, I wonder why my floor is coming at me. <laughs> oh, Inko died! Okay, no, he's fine. Owie! <laughs> Do I sound like Ash from Pokemon? <laughs> oh no. I know! It's like this higher-pitched version of my fucking Jasper voice. <laughs> After my prompter tumble, Olivia had done her best to pull me up and get me on the couch. My rope did make it easy for me to <laughs> drag me across the smooth floor. <laughs> She's just dragging him! Okay, forget the project! <laughs> what project? boy. <laughs> I gotta tell if the dizziness is new or not. I don't know where I am or what's going on. My diamond, I choose you! <laughs> My diamond, I choose you! <laughs> Olivia's already started picking up the trash mount and moving what she can into her grocery bag. Watching her with my vision going fuzzy only intensifies the vertigo. I guess I should take more of my medicine. Yeah, to take more of it, just overdose on the medicine, that will fix me. 
<laughs> I grab a can of soda from the half empty case on the table along with a bottle of cough syrup. Do I actually do I have any water? Have I just been drinking cough syrup and soda and ramen noodles all day? <laughs> I upend the can and bottle into the glass I've been using all week and Oh god, he's been using the same glass without watching it! Watch a delicious picture- <laughs> Did he just- Did he just pour cough syrup and soda into a glass he's been using for three days without cleaning it? Oh my god. How are you- This might be why you're sick, Inko. You could have been better by now. I think he's just making himself sick at this point. Oh, give me the glass of a good swirl to ensure the best final project. I grit and gulped out my alchemical masterpiece. Why did Olivia not stop this? It's definitely purple drank. <laughs> the purple drank will make me better, Olivia! Um, Inko, I think you need adult supervision. Where are your parents? <laughs> and I'll get to finish the drinker over as an olive green tail slams my midsection and makes me spit up the drink all over myself. Need your stomach pumped. I'm gonna hit you a few more times. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Now why do you have been sick as shit, you dumbass? What? I read a line that it makes the medicine go down easier. <laughs> you pay attention to like, you know, how much of the medicine you're supposed to take and go. Yeah, she, she said it. Inko, you've been drugging yourself with fucking purple drink. Why are you so white, Inko? <laughs> you didn't even realize. I mean, yeah, it's purple, and I drink it. <laughs> this man! This man! Holy crap, how are you alive? Oh, the spell of my spat-up drink irritates my nose, and I feel my stomach royal from both the impact and the force purging. I resist the urge to wretch, feeling all of my energy drain away. Am I gonna pass out again? Blurg! I feel completely yup, yup, yup! My vision swims as the world turns counterclockwise. I feel something on my head, and I'm thankful that something soft and warm is soothingly smooth maneuvers it back into the couch. I can't, I'm losing, I can't talk, I'm falling asleep. The blackness of my eyelids shut, that returns up. I'm just losing. Uh, uh, oh, my. Inko? Inko, do I need to call an ambulance? The pterodactyls can fly you to the hospital. Oh man, I'm gonna stay there. I'll, I'll figure out something. I think you're fucking poison. I need to call poison control. <laughs> yeah. You've been poisoning yourself with purple drink. You haven't even washed your glass. You're so white. Kiss me already. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> his voice is dried out by a growing drought of white noise. Once again, the colors from outside the windows bleed and flood into my house. Oh, the colors. The colors, Olivia! I'm still without my rent money. <laughs> what? Someone's in here still. They're bent over something. Hey, yo, what's going on? Am I having a tr drug trip dream? Oh, gee. Oh, my. Oh, God. Oh, God. Funny gator girl on Wii. Oh, man. If only I had voice mod up, I could have, like, I could have, like, done, like, a warpy, like, a warpy sound or something. <laughs> oh, well. Hang on. I'll try to help you out. I'll do my best. Oh, no. Oh no, guys! What do I pick? Chat, we're all in co right now. What do I pick? <laughs> do any of these mean anything? Let's see. Oh, big, big hugs. I want a hug. And then there's, what's going on? Who is this? Where's Lucy? Where's my daughter? And then, if man came from monkeys, then how does Coach Sully exist? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, we'll tell her I want a hug. It's so big. They're so big. He's staring like right at her boobs, probably. Please don't talk. You you sound really stupid right now. <laughs> you sound completely incoherent. <laughs> she made a pun though. You're completely incoherent. <laughs> incoherent. <laughs> I made a pun. <laughs> oh, he's saying that. That's my name. Incoherent. How did she know my second middle name? Before I can say anything, my big fades into the void. Dot, dot, dot. It's probably good she came over, because he probably would have died if he kept this up, to be honest. His liver is, like, wrecked. Dot, 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 dot. 
Oh, God. My head. What year is it? I slept too long. I sit up and glance around the room. Mom and Dad aren't back yet, even though it's... 6 o'clock. And they don't come back at 6 o'clock ever either, but I'm going to keep deluding myself. <laughs> Must be a business meeting. I need an adult. Wait, no. What's that smell? Dang, something's cooking. Smells nice. Guess Mom is home. Finally, Mom is home. I will have real food. Normally, it's just reheated whatever. I put the couch pillows back the way that my parents like them, and they beat me otherwise. And then I head into the kitchen and see what's up. Mommy! Mommy! Whoa, Mom, that smells so good. Oh. Shit, I just... Oh, my God, I just called you Mommy. I hope this doesn't awaken anything in either of us. <laughs> I didn't know you're still. Oh man, I passed out on you, didn't I? The assignment. It's fine. You feeling any better? I'm trying to make sure you get like some real fucking food, and you dumbass. <laughs> yeah, Olivia, I'll be your mommy. <laughs> uh, um, are they not around very often? Are you, Inko? Are you are you being neglected, Inko? Uh, are you being neglected? We we can go talk to an adult about this, Inko. <laughs> Yeah, they're usually busy with work stuff. Both have busy, but well-paying jobs. I'm fine, don't worry. I'm, I'm used to it. I'm used to being completely isolated and alone, Olivia. It's fine. If you say so. Damn, I'm starting to realize your life might be worse than mine, bud. <laughs> Olivia looks down at the slow cooker and fiddles with one of the <clears throat> dials. I'm losing my voice. Actually, are you... Do you really not have any run around? No aunts, no grandparents, no nothing? Do you even have a history, Inko? Where did you come from? You just spawn out of the ground one day? I shrug. Like, my mom's gone and my dad's a whole nother story, but at least he stuck me with the pains. You've got, like, fucking nothing. And that way, I guess you're worse off than me somehow? Even though you're rich, you fucking bastard. The last part she spoke was quieter. I, went, I don't know what quiet means. <laughs> with her downcast face, I can't help but feel it wasn't meant to hear. Well, yeah, you at least have your folks, but I don't think that does much good comparing our situations. I'll just have to be a better parent for my kids. Olivia flinches. I don't know why, though. It isn't what... Isn't that what everyone wants? Did she just imagine us having children? Did someone call... Someone call CPS to save this 25-year-old high school student who has been abandoned by his parents. He came from the mannequin store. You plan to start a family? Really? You? Really? Oh. Yeah, of course. What about you? My dad really wants me to. He... He knows he's pretty far from ideal. He's told me before that he hopes I can make a family work. Like how he couldn't. It's not very encouraging. <laughs> It'd be nice, but I mean... It's probably not gonna happen. I think it can. We can make it work, Olivia. On the couch right now! <laughs> hmm. Well, after you collapsed, I panicked. I had to call... Uh, I had to call Mrs. Payne. To ask her what to do. If I should call an emergency services. She almost called her auntie. She almost called her auntie. Yeah. Inka, why does Olivia call you baby girl? <laughs> she said when this happens to Damien, she just makes him shepherd's pie and waits for him to sleep it off. Still wearing the snuggie he threw up on. I'm sure he's very attractive right now. <laughs> I had to root through your fridge to find out you have jack shit in terms of ingredients. What have you been eating? I just found some, like, like frozen through breakfast burritos that are a month expired. And your appliances, too. I thought this place, I thought a place as upscale as this would clearly have an air fryer. Clearly, you don't even own an air fryer, Inko. But all I could find was this slow cooker, so I threw the vegetables in that hadn't expired into it with some stuff. He is eating expired food. I've been joking about it, but it's true. Oh, God! Should be good for your sinuses, at least. Just snort it right up your nose. That's how humans work, right? I vaguely remember something along those lines. I stepped closer to Olivia, peering into the glass window of the cooker. I didn't even know we had half of what's ever in there. Usually, Mommy cooks me chicken tendies. Really? Why would your parents buy this kind of stuff just to let it rot away in the fridge? My mom does like to cook, but she doesn't do it very often. I wish she would. Why don't you just learn to cook, Inko? <laughs> you can use the food! <laughs> uh... Olivia, my parents are buildings! They can't teach me to cook, Olivia! 
kind of rich person eco doesn't even have an air fryer like right even i have an air fryer come on great get her start you know i'm only spoiling you because you're sick it's not because i like you or anything babaka it's not that i just miss dinner you know i i've been scrounging for scraps at school that's all i eat sitting around the dining room table and talking to each other we don't really do that much anymore except maybe on the holidays and in my head because my parents are not real I'm sorry if you- I'm sorry if you redeemed a tomato today, you're gonna have to wait for the art stream to throw them at me. It'll give you all the more motivation. Olivia wins this! No kidding, sorry to pry. I can't help but sigh as I think about my lackluster relationship with mom and dad! It's alright, anyway! I didn't take you for culinary- I didn't you for the culinary type, Olivia! The awkwardness of just standing and staring gets to me, so I choose to take a seat at our island table. Doo doo doo. Man, these chairs are surprisingly comfy. I've never sat in them. <laughs> School lunches are bad, but they're all I have, Olivia. They're all I have. I don't know how to work an oven. I only know how to work a microwave. Barely. I missed that line. This is actually the first time that table was even used since we moved in. <laughs> I don't think his parents exist. I really don't. <laughs> I think it's all the same food he moved in with. <laughs> think about it, Olivia's gonna be a lot of firsts now. Hope she gives me a couple other firsts, if you know what I'm saying, wink wink nudge nudge. Gotta wish mom would make dinner again, like before she got that promotion. Why isn't mommy making me tendies? Olivia hums to herself as she moves toward the fridge, pulling out the egg carton and scowling after checking it. Oh no! Inko, how often do you get groceries? I ordered some earlier! Actual groceries, not junk food. Like, not chips. And not Slim Jims. <laughs> And not ramen noodles with nothing in them. His dad's canonically somewhat of an alcoholic. Really? Wow. No, oh, sorry, Strikor. <laughs> I tried to turn off all the stickers and shit today. I think you guys wouldn't be able to, to do anything, but god damn it. Oh. Ah. Uh. God, that's such a waste of money. Fucking rich people, right? Imagine if you could cook the food you like. I tried to, but my head starts to get a bit lighter. Oh, now I can practically taste the salivating spell card for the cooker. Real food. Real food. Is that why you're in home, Mac? Why don't you watch some fucking YouTube tutorials on cooking, Inko? You can find a YouTube tutorial on fucking anything. Is it all a little home for birds you consider something? I wanted to be ready when I had a place of my own. And it's actually relaxing. It just keeps my mind and hands busy when I'm alone, and then I tear into the fucking finished meal like a fucking wild animal. Plus, it's either this or, you know, bother uh, Mrs. Payne all the time. Like, you bother your mom all the time, and that's why she's never home, Inko. The cooker ping! Signaling the stew is finished. We got the ping, but we didn't get the doorbell. When Olivia takes the lid off, a cloud of steam erupts with a rich aroma of cooked meat and vegetables. Oh, there's meat in there, too. Awesome. Can you grab us some bowls? I'm guessing they're in the shelves above. Does he even know where they are? Olivia's dad looks like Nathan Explosion, really? <laughs> <laughs> Interested to see that. Is he alligator Nathan explosion? <laughs> I nod and get up, moving on the table and blah, blah, blah. the bowls. <laughs> I kept the top a quick dust check. <laughs> Sticking it back and taking the two under it. You can just rinse it in the sink and go. You fucking incompetent bastard. I love you already has the ladle ready. Stirring the soup slowly. I didn't even know we had a ladle. <laughs> I said the bowl's down next to her and she ladles in the servings for us. We're so domestic right now. Okay, money bags, back to the couch. Oh, am I gonna get some? Oh, anyway. You don't wanna eat at the table? I can't. What do you. Oh. The island table doesn't really have the space for her chair to fit underneath. Plus, I wanna enjoy this for some quality entertainment. I am gonna make you watch all of Koala Princess. <laughs> I figured we could watch something together on that big flat screen you've got. I mean, get, damn, dude. That's some expensive shit. I'm gonna use it. That's okay, right? Sure, sure, sure. I never even turned it on. Sure. I don't know things. I carry both bowls back to the couch. See, the entire living room has been cleaned up. Man, I really need to make this up to Olivia somehow. Just watching something doesn't feel like a fair deal at all. Not only cooking, but cleaning up after. I'll find a way to repay her. It's the last thing I do. <laughs> okay, give him like he doesn't have parents. His parents are building... Oh, we're not gonna- we're not gonna see her dad? Because I'm getting the good ending? We'll have to go see a picture of him then. I said that our dinner at the coffee table. I think the endings are just numbered. 
For a living, I can say a thing. I place both hands on the corner of the couch and push. I didn't think it'd be so hard, but then again, I'm still out of sorts, and also I have no muscles because all I eat is ramen noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Olivia, my parents are real, and he points at some mannequins. <laughs> they came home, Olivia, they finally came home. <laughs> the space I created is enough for Olivia to work with the front of her chair in. Olivia gives me the appreciative nod, and then angles her chair in a letter. I need to describe all this, please. Thanks. I give Olivia a small nod and smiles. I grab my spoon off the table. Leaning closer to the bowl, I'm comforting a rumor of the stoop wafts up into my stuffy nose. Right up the nose, snort it. First time I'm getting some goosebumps that aren't caused by cold flashes. <laughs> I get a good spoonful of Olivia's homemade remedy, making sure to get some meat and veggies as well. Still piping hot, I blow a bit of air on the spoon to cool it down. I'm gonna spill more on my onesie. <laughs> Pussy. You want mine? Because it's right here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are we going to do the sex, Olivia? <laughs> hey, the last thing I need with this fever is a secondary burns all over my tongue. <laughs> Whatever you say. Fucking squishy human. <laughs> Once I feel it sufficiently cool, I slurp my first spoonful. My dry, tired eyes close in bliss as the flavors wash over my taste buds, firing them all off like fireworks. I have never had real food before. This is amazing. <laughs> to describe it as just being good would be a severe understatement. I don't think your bar is very high, though, Inko. <laughs> I really don't. I did not play Snoot Game, Gideon. Uh, Kaiser just barely managed to convince me to play this. <laughs> but then we ended up having a lot of fun with it. So I just, I'm just gonna play the whole thing. You can find the other parts on my channel. Uh, my YouTube channel is probably a better way to go. My YouTube channel is Sci Scribbles. <laughs> I forgot you're in the fucking Twitch chat. <laughs> I do have the, I do have the VODs of these up on Twitch as well, though. Uh, the sucker is rich and hearty. I'm interrupting my monologue. The meat is well cooked. I can easily fall off the boat it came from. And the vegetables gave a nice aerobic touch. Oh, it was well seasoned and spiced. She even seasoned the food. White people don't know how to do that. <laughs> it's like I'm experiencing that scene from... Compitui. Compitui. The rat and ratatouille didn't literally mean rat, though. But Compitui. Compitui. <laughs> that thing I'm seeing all the different flavors moving dance around in my mind. I finally have an imagination. For a brief moment, I forget all about my fever and only felt the warm presence of the soup envelop me like a cozy blanket. Not like the one I'm wearing that's covered in my own spin-up that I haven't washed in three days. Is it good? Like a record scratch, I'm taken out of my experience and brought back to Earth by the Baryonyx's voice. I look to see Olivia giving me a questioning look, idly crunching and munching her soup. At crunching? Crunch she eating the bowl? <laughs> I also realize that I'm sunk into the couch, my arms to the side like ragdolls. He only had one spoonful! For fuck's sake! I'm telling you, it's probably just like average, but he's never had like a real meal that isn't like chips and beef jerky before. <laughs> I feel like my body was way down for both my sickness and the soap. I guess I got lost in the broth! Okay, I'm ending here. No, one lab. It was a comically large spoonful. My spoon is too big! Damien's just in the garden back there behind the window. My spoon is too big. If you got that reference, you're cool. Oh, Olivia. The soup is amazing. I've never had soup before in my life, but I know it's amazing. Of your rolls horizon, my enthusiastic compliment lets out a tiny smile. That's nothing. I just threw shit together in a pot and called it food. Anyone could do that. Except apparently you. Olivia looks away, once again cutting herself short. With a weak strength, I lift myself up from the couch's gravitational pull to be better look at the shying scaly. I'm serious, this is the most delicious soup I've ever had! I've never had soup before now, but it's the best! <laughs> I'm the queen of France! Good, you get it. You get, you, get, uh, you get points. You get internet points. If this was a Japanese visual novel, Olivia would wash Inko's back with a cloth, probably. <laughs> I, they were under an umbrella together at one point, so don't don't discount any weebery that could happen. Olivia moves her head back closer to me and still avoids my gaze, her smile a little weaker. All right, I get it. Don't have to make it sound better than it is. It's just helping out your flu. Take a compliment, Olivia! <laughs> I'm not saying it because of the flu. Well, maybe I am. I'm a, I'm a little dizzy still. Honestly, you have a real talent for cooking. Olivia turns toward me, her smile still small but filled with honest joy. You really think so? I nod. 
Even as a soothing warmth of Olivia's soup settles in, and manages to turn her meek smile into my own tired one. Olivia, I'm a very simple man. You can believe everything I say. <laughs> I know so. Her eyes dart around for anything else to focus on, desperately trying to redirect her fluster. Oh, she's so cute. She's so adorable. She shakes the flesh out of her face and checks around for her bag. Well, uh, I'll get going. Babaka. Going? Uh, don't leave me, Olivia, please. I need food, Olivia. <laughs> I thought you were wanting to get caught up on your shows. Uh, well. You want to watch your stories, Olivia? <laughs> well, it's right there. It's the least I can do after your help today. What were you wanting to watch? She eyes the remote and the oversized screen on our wall. A few things. Nothing in particular. You got Netflix, bro? You got Prime? <laughs> Buy Prime, everybody, so you can give Sai a sub. <laughs> I remember you asking last month for some recommendations, so I've been thinking of a few you might like, but if you're sick and all, I don't want to. There's no better time to watch a television show than when you're sick and can't do anything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd love to see what you have. <clears throat> My parents probably won't be back to, to hog it for another few hours. If they come back tonight at all. When is the last night? You know, net sticks, right? I, I apologize. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's a pretty good time. You really sure? My parents aren't going to be home, Olivia. Do you know what that means? <laughs> Show me all about the deep cultural meaning of animated dinosaur folk cartoons. <laughs> From Japan! <laughs> Oh my god, you are so lucky you're sick right now. I would have punched you. Yep. I can say whatever I want. You'll feel too bad for hitting me. Let me take some remote and flicks on the TV. After getting over the initial shock of the screen being taller than she is, she navigates to a streaming site and picks some colorful series. I'd only see in passing. My parents just pay for every streaming service, probably. <laughs> Snoot flicks. This one has a rough pop pilot. But it gets better a few episodes in, and the animation is top-notch. It's called Hasbin Hotel. Hmm. She flips to the first episode and establishing fight scene or rivals while Olivia moves back to the couch with me. She just hopped. <laughs> then, to my surprise, she hefts herself out of her chair and onto a cushion next to me. Oh god, I'm sitting next to a girl. What do I do? I move my arm out of the way to make room. Oh, sorry. I should have asked. Of course, you're welcome to sit. I know, but thanks. We focus back on the show. Well, I do. Olivia's glancing my way after every joke and expensive shot to analyze my reaction. <laughs> yep, I have done this to people and have had it done to me. I understand this completely. <laughs> and when it's not for that, it's for forewarning that something a bit cheesy was about to happen. Eventually, the first episode closes and the heroes are ready to begin their journey for real in the following one. The credits scroll and Olivia swishes her hair with her fingertips. She flipped her hair at me. I'm in. So, yeah, it's pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Well, what do you think? I liked it. I have no idea what happened, but I liked it. Really? Oh, God. Well, they got a whole season. Do you want to see more? Wait. Didn't you say you wanted to catch up on your shows? This is a pilot episode. He fumbles with the remote in her hands and has to catch it midair. Well, yeah. But I want to indoctrinate you into my weebery. <laughs> Just figure you should know what's all going on so you're not lost, you know? So we gotta catch up. We gotta catch up, bro. <clears throat> but if you want to keep watching this, that's fun too. She quickly pushes a button to start the next episode without my response. <laughs> Cute is all that runs through my mind as her attempts to cover for her small mistake. She's probably just refreshing her memory and... Hmm, I wonder why I thought cute fit. Do I think she's cute? Do I want to hug that gator? I have once already. <laughs> Hell, endearing every time she glances over as if I wouldn't enjoy the show. I will enjoy anything you put in front of me. I am a very simple man. <laughs> sure, mom and dad aren't in a <clears throat> Sure, mom and dad aren't in a rush to get back. They they, they exist. Characters on screen freeze. Oh shoot, did the Wi-Fi go out again? I try to sit up, but I brutishly heavy limb anchors my lap back down. Oh my. Lovious tail feels like a boulder across my legs, keeping me from standing. Oh my! <laughs> uh, Olivia? Are you about to deflower me? <laughs> I just paused it and go chill, bro. God. Oh. There's a complicated expression on her face. Uh. I, uh... Is it normal? What, me? No. <laughs> it's what normal? She chews her lips slowly in consideration. Your parents, like, are they not really going to be back? So we could do a bit more on this couch if you wanted to, Inko. I shrug. 
They're always busy with work. I feel a shifting next to me. Olivia has inched herself closer. Like, when I think about it, I barely see them at all. More shifting. I wonder sometimes, am I gonna kiss that gator? <laughs> the tail shifts to my abdomen now. Oh my! Does anyone even care? Nobody cares about me, Olivia. My parents are fake, Olivia. I've been lying. <laughs> They're buildings, Olivia. <laughs> They're architecture. <laughs> All the movement has stopped as if reality itself has paused. Man, I must be more tired than I thought. I feel my head sway as my muscles ease into putty. I'm sure they do. I look at Olivia, who is shoulder to shoulder with me now. I mean... Dad's kind of the same. Hmm? Olivia chews her lip as she considers her words. He's always busy, too. The whole reason I live with my godparents is because Dad has to travel for work. It's hard to say Dad in this voice for some reason. So he doesn't. I stop myself as I see a faint wetness in Olivia's eyes. Oh no, I made her cry! I'm sorry. Her eyes close and a somber sigh escapes her lips. Can we, can we cry and make out now? <laughs> no, it's fine. I get it, Inko. There's a silence hanging over us now. I copy after the sweet girl next to me, letting my eyes slide closed in a sad breath loose. After some time, she breaks the silence with a soft and tender words. Of course your parents care. I mean, I don't know them. <laughs> and they leave you here alone all the time and they don't give you food, but they probably care. Probably. <laughs> Just like that, why would anyone work? Why would they work so much? For you? What about me? I wish it just how pathetic that sounded, but what about me? <laughs> It's for you, you doof. So you can live in this gated house and spend all your money on chips like a fucking idiot. <laughs> How else could you afford all these nice things? I think I'm this ancillary to these things, Olivia. I don't think my parents really remember that I exist. <laughs> Her words grow quieter as time goes on and my body sinks into numbness again. I think that's just cope, Olivia. <laughs> I think that's just cope. <laughs> Dad cares enough to work for my sake. At least that's what he says. <laughs> enough to talk, talk my godparents into letting me live with them. They didn't have to, and yet I'm burdening them. My mind connects the dots! Oh, I've connected all the dots, Olivia! <laughs> Mr. Halford talked Randy and Sophie into it. Which is why I have to be able to live on my own as soon as I can. Because if they don't want me there anymore, that's it for me. I just recall how happy they were to have Olivia rejoin the party. They want it, though. They love you like Damien and Vinny. They love you so much, Olivia. They love you far more than my parents love me. <laughs> She shakes some of her thoughts from her head and looks at me with serious moonshade eyes. Anyway, you should do the same for your parents and yourself. Aw. Maybe this should be the thumbnail, actually. My world goes horizontal. I find my head atop the comfiest pillow I've ever felt. Oh my god, she's th thick. Look at that. Actually, her legs aren't really going out that far. <laughs> I nod, and the nod becomes a nuzzle into said pillow. And the two pillows next to my head. <laughs> Above me, Olivia yelps. Huh? I try to I try to turn to see what's wrong when something falls on top of my head that keeps it in place. Is it her boobs? Is my face in her boobs? <laughs> Nothing. A soothingly cool something rubs across my head, drawing me further and further into a restful pace. Along with a gentle caress as a deep vibrato emanates from somewhere resonating in my tired mind. Do not tell me this fucking alligator is purring. I will hit you, furry authors. <laughs> okay. With the lulling touch in the tone, my eyelids grow heavy. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. By the time I wake up, Olivia's gone. Abandoned me. Just like my parents. <laughs> they bellow. I know baby alligators sound like laser guns. Is this a good place to stop, you guys? Because it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> Let me just see what the next screen is. Uh, it's four in the morning. Okay. Alright, I think that's a good stopping point. 